Oh, wait. We got another one rolling in on yep, yep. line two. Line two. Line, line two, two is open. Line two is open. This one coming in from Patrick, Patrick B. 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 Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and it is Friday happy hour. <laughs> it looks like Sergio and Patrick B. have got their drinking pants on. My question is to all of you, do you have your drinking pants on? Coming up on today's show, I'm going to go over the top 30 Raiders pre-draft visits, and I'm going to power rank them for you in terms of how much I like them fitting with the Raiders from 30 all the way down to 1. Then we're going to be bringing on Jermaine Illuminor, Raiders starting right tackle, in for an interview. So, Jermaine actually just messaged me, said that he saw Sergio's bang, and he saw Patrick B's bang, and he wants to join the show now. Is that possible? Uh, yeah. I'm going to message Jermaine real quick. If you want to join now, we, we, we can make it work. We can do Jermaine, as weird as it sounds, we can do Jermaine first. We can do Jermaine first. So, all, all Sergio and Patrick, I'm just telling you all right now, he saw it and he's ready to get this thing going. Sergio. So, Sergio, I owe you, once happy hour starts, I owe Patrick B and Sergio, that's going to be three beer bongs, but... Now my concentration is going to go towards getting Jermaine Illuminor on the show. So if you guys could, I want you to show Jermaine a little bit of love here. Spam72 down in the comments section. Essentially what is going to happen here is this. Jeremy is talking with our other producer and they are trying to get Jermaine behind the scenes. Um, Hang on. <laughs> So essentially what happened with Jermaine, I said, uh, we can go now. We can go now. Jermaine's um, been having some flight difficulties. He's had, I think his flight, he said, canceled like three or four times. So <clears throat> I'll just make sure it's my face. I may Oh, be able to... my goodness. Oh, man, what just happened? Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> so first one, Sergio Roscoe. Raider Nation is ready to turn up. Let's go. This one's for you guys. I'm going to have some catching up to and, do. Uh, Raiders! Raiders! Then Patrick B came in. Got to show Jermaine some love. Let's get this party. Let's get it started in. Yeah. Ha. Let's get it started in here. <coughs> and then another Ooh. one coming in from... A Patrick, Patrick B. 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 Raiders, let's party, Jermaine Illuminor. Let's go, Nation. Let's so, rock. Let's I told Jermaine if he wants to today. join Zoom, we can get it joined and going now. So it's essentially Jermaine. I know you're watching. It's up to you, my guy. Whenever you're ready to join the live show. You can join the live I, show. I've been saying all week, Jermaine's my favorite Raiders player of all time. He's my favorite tackle in the league right now. And it's not just because he's about to come on the show. He's probably my favorite player in NFL history. So I'm really pumped while we wait, to get Jermaine on the show today. While we wait for Jermaine to get it all set up. Holy shit, I got it on too. <laughs> he took advantage of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. This one's rolling, rolling in, in from, from Hellcat. Hell oh, wait. Hellcat Q. Bang. That's on me. What'd That's you on say? me. First off, I looked over to the right and I saw two Patrick B's. That's on me. <laughs> That's on me. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, remember if I wear your jersey on this show, it's a boot. It's a boot. <laughs> So I uh, <coughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this, but we're going to get through it here. So he said, let's go. Bang. I see the best Raiders jersey you own, and there isn't a deal for a Billy. There isn't a deal for when you're wearing my jersey. I think one Billy equals a beer bong. Bang. Drink up, boys. If I, <sighs> if I go, or I effing go, Raiders. Let's go. Holy crap. That's cold. 
I probably should have taken them out of the fridge before this show, but hey, it is what it is. You're right, Hellcat. That is going to be a beer boot, but I'm doing the boot after I interviewed Jermaine Illuminor. So I, I hope somebody's keeping tabs. We owe two for Sergio, now technically only one. We owe one for Patrick B, another for Patrick B, and then a boot. So we owe six. I mean, I, I think once the Jermaine Illuminor interview is over, boot race. I, I, unless I can find someone else to do a boot race with me. Let's see. While we wait for Jermaine Illuminor, do you want the Raiders to draft C.J. Stroud? Type hmm. D for draft. Type P for pass. What do you guys think? I'm going to message Jermaine one more time here and say, we are ready when you are. You I'm gonna up. I'm gonna resend him the link here. So just send them you up. <laughs> That's the link. Would you want the Raiders to draft? I'll also say this. I appreciate every super chat we get. However, this might be a big ass, but this is the first time this has ever happened. The first five super chats are one hundreds. Uh, Can we only do one hundreds today? Like uh, nothing under red. I mean, 200, 100, 100, 100. I'm just saying, I guess it's all reds. Imagine we did an entire <laughs> show only reds. Uh, that is quite the ask. It's a huge ask. I mean, I'll say this. I, from now, I, I have this shot fun. If you guys want to keep it red, we can keep it red. <laughs> Sergio Ooh. was a 200, so that's, that's on me, but it's still red. Super chat show up as different colors. I got short dog, type in D for draft. Queen Sarah Otto, D for draft. Zach Snar, AR15, also Patrick. You got to answer your DMs, yeah. man. T just to be clear, you can super chat if it's not $100. <laughs> yes. That's fine. <laughs> Mitch, Mitch, Mitch was just being... I was pipe dreaming. Pipe. Giggity? Something, something with pipe. Something with the pipe. Um, some, something with, Luis like Rodriguez is type in P. I got Mike Nix type in D. We, we do have Super Chat deals coming up we do. less than $100. Correct. We got a lot of stuff like we always do for Raiders you, Happy Hour. You, I think you, people are just excited for Jermaine. You go Illuminor. to a steakhouse or like, I hate to break it to you, we're only serving the A5 Wagyu tonight. Is it is it Wagyu? <laughs> Wagyu. Is it? Hmm. Bless you. Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are waiting for Jermaine Illuminor and to I, join. I actually just got a message from Jermaine. He said... I can't come on until we get 300 likes on the video. No. Is that what he said? He told me unless 300 people like today's video, yeah. none. Really? That's what he's saying. That's, that's just what I heard. Wow. This that's is what I heard. Uh, Jermaine said he's not coming on unless we get more likes. This is about to just get, this oh, is about wow. to turn into a bloodbath. Um, I see it. I see it. This is. Uh, hold on. Yep. Sergio, I see it. You can probably guess what Sergio just did here, but um, wow, this is this is gonna get nuts. We got 420 people watching. I don't know what today's show is about to turn into. No, nope. I just think it's about to get um, it's about to get nuts. Yeah, it's 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 about to get nuts. <laughs> you ready? I think I'm ready. Sergio, are you ready? If y'all haven't already spam Sergio, what the hell are you waiting for? Because this one's coming in from Sergio Orozco Bay. What's up, Sergio? It sounds like we got Jermaine on the other line, and I think all he has heard so far is the word bang. It's been a, been a lot of bangs. So, again, if you're keeping track at home, Fridays are all about having a good time. It's all about happy hour, and every 100 that we get, we end up doing a beer bong on Fridays. Okay, so the, the total, just so you all know, is eight. So it's going to be two boots. If we get another 100, we might we might as well just try to do a three-way boot race. Let's go to King Higgins here. Let's get Jermaine those likes. Raider Nation for life. 
So I have a few questions to give for Jermaine Illuminor. And then essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up to some people over on Locals <coughs> that have submitted some questions to me. And then I'm also going to open it up to questions that if, if he has time, you guys will also have the ability to ask him questions. The only thing that I am going to ask is please be respectful. I know Chugs and I, we go on these, you know, eight hour live tangents sometimes and we get to know each other very personal. However, when it comes to having a Raiders player on here, Let's be um, let's, let's ask him good questions. And, let's don't put him in a tough spot I, because saying, I would love to have more interviews. We're, we're forty. On this show. We're forty eight likes away from getting Jermaine on. Oh yeah, really? we're forty eight likes away. <clears throat> so he's on Zoom right now. He is. He he right. he's looking at me right now and he's saying forty eight. <laughs> forty eight. He's ready to go, it's Jermaine. Up, it's up to the nation. He's it's saying forty eight. Hey. He's he's literally. So what I want right you guys now. to do right now is start spamming seventy two down in the chat. We are about to bring up. He's in the sauna right now. He said that's hot. Yeah, maybe. We are about to bring up Jermaine Illuminor. Okay. That's fine. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> that's that's but fine. Knackered Irishman. Let's go. With the 50 piece. Let's go. All right. So this is, Chris, what, this is what we just got Chris, told. Rebel, I see you. Chris, first time Super Chat. We're going to drink for that. But Jermaine's locked. He's ready. He's hot and sweaty. This is funny. So Jermaine Illumina right now is actually doing this in a sauna, which I just okay, blows my mind. So essentially what he's going to do here is he's going to do an interview with us for 15 minutes. And then he's going to get cleaned up. And then he's actually going to come back and then uh, answer some of y'all's questions. Does that sound good? So the first, I'm going to interview him here for 15 minutes. And then he's going to go get cleaned up out of the sauna. And then he's going to come back on the show and he's going to answer your questions. That's what he just told us. Does that sound good? Hopefully it does because that's what's going to end up happening. So once I get the thumbs up from Jeremy, that means we're going to be ready to rock and roll. Knackered Irishman, we're going to be partying up. Uh, so after the Illuminor... Interview, then we'll we'll get a little bit more wild like we always do here on the Raiders Four. Coming up right now, get those 72s in the chat for this interview with Raiders right tackle Jermaine Illuminor. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. And coming up here on today's show, I am interviewing Raiders starting right tackle, Jermaine Illuminor. And one, one of the biggest things that I want you all to do is show him a little bit of love. Spam 72 right now down in the comments section because I don't know if Jermaine's at a nightclub in Las Vegas. Looks like he's in his sauna. He's laughing it up. Everybody give a huge shout out to Jermaine Illuminor. Dude, we appreciate the fact that you're showing up to today's show, man. Much love to you. The nation is excited. And I'm excited to have you. We usually do show sometimes without a shirt on. We're usually chugging some beer bombs. <laughs> I'll tell you this. After this live interview, I'll come back and I'll take my shirt off then. Hey, that's that's definitely fine with me. I'm used to taking my shirt off, so it's, you know, it's just something I'm used to now. Hell yeah, man. I appreciate that. I saw you uh, went to Lackawanna College, and myself, yeah. I'm actually from – Danville, Pennsylvania, which is the 570 as well. So, like, that's my stomping grounds. So, I saw really? Lackawanna. I was like, man, that's really cool. And then I saw you went to high school at Morris in Denville, New Jersey. One yeah. of my best buddies, he's from Rock Rockaway? Well, no, what is it? Rockaway, yeah. Rockaway. And then I went to college at Centenary, which is maybe, like, 30 minutes away from that. Yeah. So I know where that is. It's dope. No, I, I, to be honest, I know a lot about you, which probably creeps you out a little bit. I do my homework. Nah, it's just me. There's, there's, I've had some really weird people while I've been playing football just bring up my entire like past, like growing up in London and playing rugby and then playing soccer and then moving over here and like wrestling in high school and know my exact record and you know. So I've had, I've had some very interesting people. Like well, coming to my life. So. I heard today is actually like National Tea Day over in London. So I mean, if you want to get really? weird. We can bring out some tea bags. Have you ever been tea bag hey, live? I'm a, I'm a big tea guy, so, you know. Okay, fair enough. So here's how this is going to work, Jermaine. I got a few questions for you, and then okay. 
You can just answer them however you wish, and we're going to keep this thing rolling. So my first question is, what position will you play the most snaps at this season? You and I have discussed left guard, right tackle, right guard. What position do you think you're going to play the most this season? Um, I would assume right tackle, but at the same time, I would say whichever position they need me at the most. You know, my entire career – um, I prided on the fact that I can play multiple positions. Like last year, I started a game at left tackle when Cole went down for a day for a game. Um, right guard, week three um, against Tennessee. So, you know, I would love to play right tackle, but at the same time, if they need me to play another position because that's a position that we need and, you know, we, we need that position filled, then I'll go ahead and do that. You know, my thing is I just want to be on the field playing whatever that is wherever it is, you know. I think uh, one of my favorite things about you personally is your versatility. I studied a lot of film on you when you were with the New England Patriots, with Carmen Brasillo, and that's why I was so excited that the Raiders were able to bring you mm -hmm. back. And you were probably one of the top players that I defended a lot because for whatever reason, people like to rip apart the Raiders' offensive line. And overall, I thought you guys played at a lot higher level than what you were getting credit for, especially you. So I want to see it right tackle this season. And if – you have to move to right guard to make the team better. You know, I'm always a team first guy. Let's go to the next question here on the Raiders report. What's the draft like for you as a player watching your team draft your teammates? So exactly what do I mean by that is it's always difficult because I can imagine, you know, you're probably sitting there wondering, all right, what if the Raiders end up taking a offensive tackle, for example? So me, I want the Raiders to get better. For you, when you watch it, how does your mindset go in that regard? I think he's thinking about it. It's a long pause here. This is a good pause. This is actually a perfect time for a YouTube ad break. So Jermaine looks like he just got out of the sauna. I don't know if YouTube is like, you know what? This guy's rocking without a shirt right now. Or this is just an elite duck face. And I'm talking an elite duck face. Now, if you haven't already, if you want to join us for the NFL draft, hit that subscribe button we're going to be doing videos every single day live all the time for every single pick and in fact we actually get the picks before you see them on television so if you're a diehard Raider fan I want you to hit that subscribe button I want you to turn on those notifications that way you never miss a thing so for those of you that are watching this live guess what we're experiencing some some technical difficulties I wonder if his wi-fi router in a sauna ended up spilling out I don't necessarily know so we're gonna wait to see if we can get Jermaine Illuminor back on the line here internet some connections I think the next time we're gonna have to get him in the studio my team's looking around saying that they think that he lost connection so <laughs> so he just messaged me he goes my bad my phone turned off <laughs> I'll be back on in a second. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he he said that he was worried that right. the sauna would overheat wrong, his phone. Wrong, wrong answer. Wrong answers only. Why why did Jermaine's phone uh, stop working? Also, wrong wrong is, answers only. This is actually some big time news for the Raiders. Uh, it's not around the Raiders, but the Atlanta Falcons they just released Casey Hayward, former Raider cornerback. Rolling. Atlanta Falcons just released him. Interesting, man. Fal Fal Falcons news. Get on All right, it. wrong answers only. Why did Jermaine Illuminor's phone stop working? Yeah, I think it's hard pause. Okay. <laughs> While we're waiting, I think now's a good time to get rid of a beer bong. Wrong answers only, Chugs. Let's Give see. some shout-outs. Oh, T-Mobile Wi-Fi? Ooh. Maybe. He's, it he's probably on cricket. Maybe he was rocking with the cricket? <laughs> cricket Wi-Fi? His towel fell? Bro, I need a... This is... The amount of soap in here. <laughs> you can see it. Yep. That's soap. Mm-hmm. I don't know whose day it was to clean, but not great. <laughs> not great. Ran out of... He ran out of data? Maybe he was paying for a specific amount of data. So and yeah. it just... That was the limit. He said, all right, I lost my blue check mark. If Elon's not paying for my minutes, I'm out. 
<laughs> Martin says, hey, no dissing cricket. <laughs> Martin, are you a cricket guy? Mom called, the pizza rolls were ready. Or the meatloaf. <laughs> Ma! Meatloaf! All right, just so y'all know, we still owe eight more of these bad boys. Jermaine's, uh, Jermaine will be back here in just a second. Yeah, don't, don't worry. We're, we, we got it under control. Um, he had Verizon. That explains it all. I had Verizon. A boot race with Jermaine? Chugs and I? I could see if this, he's down. This, this would be your one chance. I'm crippled. Your one chance to beat me in a boot race? How does your hand make that big of an impact for a boot? This is my boot hand. Your boot hand. This is the hand I usually raise my boot with. The only way I'm beating you in a boot race is if Jack Karate punches you in the throat. All right. We're back. We're back. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's all good, brother. All Ooh. right, so we're going to get back into yes. the Jermaine Illuminor so, interview. I'm just going to have you re-ask that last question to him. So, Jermaine, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to re-ask the last question that I did, and then uh, we'll just continue the interview. This is perfect, though, because dude, I, I, I think we're in Vegas. The, the amount of changing lights we got here is pretty <laughs> impressive. All right, in three, <laughs> two, one. All right, Jermaine Illuminor back was at Zook, and now he's at some other nightclub. So what's the draft like for you as a player? And the reason why I'm asking this question is because you know, watching it, you're watching it obviously because you want a player that helps out the team. But then you also have to be watching the question or watching the draft in terms of is this guy potentially someone that's going to battle with me at my position? So how do you watch the draft? I would say that as a vet, you know, going to my seventh year, there's something that opened me, and it was my coming out of college when I was playing the NFL PA game. I remember talking to Jackie Slater, and he was like, yeah, you know, I played in the NFL for 20 years. I was a high-level starting right tackle. And the thing that people always ask me is, how did you react to the Rams trying to replace you every single year? And he said that, you know, those rookies would come in and talk a big game, and they would act like they were going to take his spot, and they never did because of the work he put in and just the type of guy he was. So... To answer that question, I would say that you watch it and, you know, in this profession, you know, they're trying to replace you every single year just because, you know, it's about money. They don't really want to, you know, they want guys because it will help the team fill out more. Um, and so every single year, there's going to be some sort of competition. It doesn't matter how good you play the year prior. And that definitely is something for me. It doesn't matter how good I played last year. It doesn't matter who it is. I'm going to have to come into this year in OTAs, minicamp, and training camp and show that I'm the guy, whether that's a right guard, right tackle, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have to show that I belong on the field because Josh always preaches that the best players are going to play and you prove that you're the best player in your position in training camp and competition breeds better players. And, you know, that's what it's going to come down to, me doing my job at the highest level possible and showing that I'm the guy week in and week out to go out there and, you know, protect Jimmy. Hey, protecting Jimmy. That's uh, that's what I like to hear. I know there's a bunch of, we'll call them adult stars that are probably really happy to hear you say that as well. My next question is this. What are you doing to limit timely penalties this season? Now, I don't want you to get mad at me for saying that, but no, I, I would no, say I'm, the I'm biggest, mad at myself. I think the biggest way that you can take that next step, and I think that you're nodding your head because you agree with me here, 10 penalties last season, you did everything at a very, honestly, at a pretty high level. What are you going to do, though, to limit the penalties? Because I see right now you're sweating your ass off, at least. I don't really want to see from the neck down. You can keep it there. But you told me that you're trying to cut weight from going from 335, which is, I think, what you played at last year, down to 320. So I can see that you're doing that. What's, how are you going to limit the penalties? Um. So... My weight is actually really good right now. I'm exactly where I want to be. I just do the sauna because of the health benefits and just because I love sitting in here. I would say the biggest thing for me is being more locked in mentally. Um, you know, just whether that's the snap count, um, like running the play exactly how it's meant to be ran. You know, there's a couple times maybe I had like a, an editor band downfield or, 
you know, that block in the back against Kansas City, the Monday night game, you know, just being more locked in For sure. to the game plan and what I have to do. And then that way, you know, I just be able to go out there and play freely. It's it's definitely a mindset thing and a, like a mentality thing that you have to go out there and know that you have to play the game cleanly so you can avoid those penalties. And some of the penalties are just bonehead decisions on my point, on my part, you know, you. like that Tennessee, we're on the goal line and I had a full start because, you know, Tennessee shouted out our cadence. I can't, you know, make an excuse. It's just as me. I have to be more unlocked into the game plan. So I think that's the biggest thing, just being more locked in in the game plan, knowing what we have to do week in and week out, and then knowing that, you know, Oh, I don't have to jump real quick off the line to get the, the guy I'm going to block or in the run game, have my hands inside and making sure I have the right um, technique. That way I can avoid those penalties that are costly at times. I got you. So this next question may be a little bit personal, but, you know, I don't know. I look at Raider Nation as family. So my question to you is this. What is the most people that you've ever banged in front of? If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's an inside joke here on the Raiders Port. When we get a $100 Super Chat, we scream at the top of our lungs, bang, and we just got one from Sergio Orozco! Bang! <laughs> nah, man, I'm just playing. I was, you like paused for a second. That was the part where I thought. I was thinking to myself, I was like, wait, I, is this like some sort of fan lingo? Like, am I, am I going to? I want to make sure I'm like right here, you know? Like, so, I don't want to say something stupid. So, Jermaine, my question to you is this. If I scream out Sergio's name again, will you scream bang with me? You know what? Let's do it. You only live once. Come on. Let's go. Sergio Orozco! Bang! bang! <laughs> <laughs> so the nation, man, they were excited. And for YouTube, tr like, just being full transparency here, right when the show started, Sergio sent in a $200 super chat. He was excited. We have another diehard Raider fan. His name is Patrick B. He sent in $200. We had another Raiders fan, uh, Hellcat Q, which I actually have his jersey on right now. And if somebody, if somebody sends in a 100, if I have their jersey on, that means I got to do a boot. So that's three beers. So honestly, I might have to join you in that sauna after this. But <laughs> this has been a hell of a live show. Bottom line, the nation was excited that you were here. We'll get back on track real quick. Do you believe Jimmy Garoppolo will be a better fit in McDaniels' offense than Derek Carr was? I think that Derek was a great fit. Derek's a great player. And I think Derek's going to do amazing things in New Orleans. Jimmy has been in this offense. He was drafted into this offense. So essentially, you could agree and say Jimmy is a better fit just because he's familiar with it. Okay. And it's a tough one. You know, I was, I've been in this offense for multiple years now. And I remember my first year in New England, I did not get a grip of this offense until my second year in this offense. It's a lot to learn. And you got to give it out to Derek because Derek knew everything. He was out there. He was in the building damn near all day grinding he was there on the field trying to lead us he did lead us did as great of a job as he could have he's like i said he's a hell of a player i think he's one of the best in the league i think he's gonna do amazing things in new orleans um you know jimmy ha like like i said has a slight advantage just because he's been in this offense before he was there for how many years in new england and now he's running the same exact offense so you know that's the only um advantage i would give him just because like I said, he's been in this offense, and if you've been in it before, it's not too hard to pick up. But if it's something you're learning on the go, like think about it. Derek had a whole off, literally just the whole offseason to learn an offense. It took me damn near two years to learn. So yeah, but like I said, both of them are hell of like hell of QBs. They're two of the best in the NFL. I'm excited that I get the opportunity to play with. I had, I had the opportunity to play with both of them, and that's just a blessing to me because they're both amazing people, amazing players and they can like Derek did his thing here he's gonna do his thing in New Orleans and Jimmy's gonna come here and elevate us as well so I'm really excited so you don't have to answer this question one of the things that I do here on this show is to just get fan interaction I, I to be honest if you saw a dude talking to himself on the side of the street I might be like all right this guy might be a little crazy so when I do this show I interact with the nation I ask questions so if you want to answer it Fire away. If not, it's all good. Nation, who's the better quarterback? If you think it's Derek Carr, type DC. If you think it's Jimmy Garoppolo, go with JG down in the comment section. Your answer, Jermaine? If not, we'll go to the next question. I would say they're both amazing in their own right. 
<laughs> Good answer. All right, so how about this one? On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being you're not confident at all, 10 being you are very confident, how confident are you in Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler to get the Raiders to achieve the ultimate goal, which is a Super Bowl? I would say very confident. They've done it before in New England, and Josh is a hell of a coach, and Dave is a hell of a GM. Um, I wouldn't judge them based on one year. You have to give people more time in order to get their guys in and run the program how they want it to be ran. You know, they like to say, like I like to say, Rome wasn't built in a day. And if it was, then I'm sure millions of millions of people would have to work on that. You know, it's hard to build a successful franchise. And I believe in them as much as someone could believe in them because they believe in me. You know, so I have to give that back. Their belief in me helped me have the season I did last year, and it helped me gain the confidence I needed to go out there and play good. And you know, I believe in them just as much, if not more. My next question is, and I think this might be the last one, maybe one more after that. So Josh Jacobs, star running back, led the NFL last season in total yards. My question for you is this. If Jacobs says that he's not going to play underneath the franchise tag, if you were McDaniels, if you were Ziegler, if you had the opportunity, would you either extend him or would you say, I want you to play under the tag, or would you trade him? What, what would you personally do? Um, well, Josh is my guy. I love him to death. He definitely helped us look great last year. He's the best running back in the NFL. And I think that that's a guy that you need to be a successful team. I love him to death. Everyone in that locker room loves him to death. We all know what he brings to the field. Like I said, he's the best running back in the NFL. And, you know, I think that year two in this offense, he's going to go stupid. I think it's going to be ridiculous. So More than 2,000 yards? What was that? More than 2,000 total yards. My fantasy team's listening. You know, I think that I can't make any promises, but like I said, we're going to go out there every single day or every single game and block our asses off and do what we need to do in order to open up holes for him and help him have the best year of his career. And like I said, I love playing with him. He elevated all of us on the offensive line. He ele elevated us as an offense. And just having a guy like that in the backfield, like I would talk to multiple guys around the NFL and they'd be like, you know, he's a hell of a guy. Like game planning for him is hard because he can run you over. He can juke you out. He can outrun you. He can do everything he wanted in a running back and more. And like I said, he's the best in the NFL. So I want to I want to keep playing with him because, like I said, he's the best in the NFL. And you want a guy like that in your backfield because if you can run the ball, you can throw the ball even better. And we can run the ball with him for sure. All right, Jermaine, I actually got one more question for you, and then I'll let you off for the live show, and then you can hop back on a little bit later when you get cleaned up. So give me your projected starting offensive line for the Raiders this season. Let's say Sunday, week one, it's tomorrow. What do you think would be the Raiders' starting offensive line this season? I'd say the same exact line we had going into Kansas City the last game. You know, I have to take some – I. I need to be a better tackle and help the guard more next to me. I need to be more selfless, and that's something I plan on doing this year. I think the better the tackle is, the more he can elevate people around you. And I, I've know, I know a bunch of great tackles around this league, and they say that their play will help elevate the guy next to them, and I want to take that role on on being that guy who helped elevate the guy next to me. And Bars is a hell of a player, and I think that I need to do a better job helping the people around me be better and the way that I do that is by playing better and elevating my game, which will help elevate the people around me as well. So I would say the same exact line we had last year. Fair enough. I think they're I'm, – I'm curious to see what they do with Alex Bars at right guard. For me personally, I'm going to go Colton Miller, Dylan Parham. I think that you're going to end up starting Andre James. I think Natane Moody might be somebody at right guard unless you draft somebody and then – I, there's this guy, his name's Jermaine Illuminor. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. I think he could end up starting at right tackle. But Jermaine, man, um, I I appreciate the hell out of this interview. I also appreciate the fact that you didn't drop your phone because if you would have, my YouTube channel probably would get deleted and then, I don't know, then i got to find something else to do. So. It would get deleted or it would get even more followers. I, I would go with the later. So. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you this. I am on another show. It's kind of like Locals is what we call and that's uncut. So... If you want to get some OnlyFans stuff going over there, we can uh, we can talk afterwards. <laughs> no, seriously, brother, I appreciate it. When you get cleaned I... up a little bit, come back here on the live show. I know a bunch of people are excited. In fact, 
Jenny Garcia just sent in a hundred dollar super chat. So you want to give her a bang and then we'll get the hell out of here? Let's do it. Jenny Garcia! Bang! Bang. <laughs> All right, man. Everybody spam 72 down in the comment section. Show Jermaine Illuminor some love. For those of you that are watching this live, he will be back on the show in a little bit, probably when he puts on a shirt and some pants. For those of you that are watching this, maybe on a later date, Cheers to you all, and remember, this is why you subscribe to the Raiders Sport. Hit that big red button and turn on those notifications. That way, you never miss a thing. All right, let's keep this live show going. Okay. My question to all of you out there is this. I want you to grade the interview. Give me an A, B, C, D, or an F. What do you think? How did we do? How did Jermaine do? See, I told Jeremy from my conversations with Jermaine, on Twitter and just the way that we've communicated, I was like, he's a, such a laid back dude. The fact that he showed up, no shirt, in a sauna, I mean, that is the kind, epitome of laid back. Kind of hot. I'm telling you this right now, I don't know if he's watching. When he joins the show back, it's my turn to go no shirt. Do we, as soon as he goes on, do we both go no shirt? No shirt and. Do you think we could like zoom it in to just our shoulders the way he had it? I'll even stand up here if I have to and look down. Dude, I mean, I, just like go in front of the TV. I, I felt like <laughs> you, you'll you'll appreciate the reference. I'll do it. No, I like it. Jack, Jack, producer Jack said we can do it like this. Jermaine, what's up, man? Let's do the show just like this, live <laughs> every single. Pick. Jack, Jack will love this reference. It felt like the nightclub from the the latest Batman movie. Just with all the different yeah. lights and colors in it, yeah. just like. No, dude, it was um, it was pretty awesome. Good to see him so motivated from Patrick and B. Diehard Raider fan says A plus. Whenever, whenever he comes back, we have some locals questions to ask him. Yep. I have some questions to ask him. And then you guys can ask. And some then questions you'll have as some well. chances to ask him some questions. What he did the bang? He's like bang something. I don't know what he said. At he the said, end. "Bang with me." <laughs> yeah. No. I said, "Okay, Jermaine." Okay. okay, Jermaine. My next question is, can he do a boot? Because <laughs> we owe some boots here. All right. Speaking of which, we did get a lot of super chats. Holy shite! And uh, Jeremy Chugs and I owe some drinks. There's so, no doubt about that. Chris Island, first time putting it in the bag. Favorite Raiders info program. Keep it up. The great work. Raiders! Cheers to you, Chris. Rebel Montana. Rebel Montana. Rebel Montana. Hellcat, Hellcat sent in the super and neat. Hellcat sent a super and he needs a boot now. Called Itchorens. <laughs> 877 boot now. 877 boot now. All right. The real question is, Jeremy, if you give Rebel Montana's picture a Firestone, what does it turn into? Ooh, is it an Eevee? Or is it is that Eevee right that now? That is Eevee right now. Ooh. Do you need to call a friend? Because yeah. Harry will know it. Harry, if you give Eevee a Firestone, what does it turn into? A Flareon? Bingo! <laughs> Knew it. Dude, got it. <laughs> Knew it. Got it. Rebel. Well, this is, all right, I think we got to do the way that Jermaine did it. Jenny Garcia! Bang with, with me! me. Yeah, I don't know if that works. Yeah, I don't think it works yeah. as well. It seems, it seems kind of messed up now. It seems, I feel like I violated Janine. Sorry, Janine. Janine, I didn't mean that. Also, and now the 69 jersey seems even more. First time super chatter. And a first time super chatter. Wow. You know what, though? Yeah, Sergio says no. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, Sergio, like, no, Sergio's no, making the rules today. Just, just bang. Just yeah, Sergio bang. said didn't sound so good. Janine, I'm sorry. Yeah, Janine, that's on me. Carlos, 47,000. Yo, Mitch. I was like, it was my birthday yesterday. <gasps> Raiders! All right, for those who don't know, Carlos holds the record here on the Raiders Sport for most comments on a single video. Carlos once commented 1,000 times on a video. 
So my promise out there is this. If we get to a thousand in supers today, I'm gonna do a boot for Race. Carlos. Well, we already owe two boots. This will get me down to that's where we owe six drinks after this. And then it's back to back boots. You want to do a boot race? See, Jeremy's a little worried because he told me he's got a broken hand, so he can't hold the boot, which I think he's going to be fine, if I'm being honest. But it is what it is. I mean, I can see if somebody else wants to challenge me to a boot race. I wonder if Petey, since I did a boot yesterday on Browns. Petey. Let's see. Hey, Petey, how much for a boot? <laughs> He's like, dog bowl. Dog, dog bowl. <laughs> All right, Nation, are you guys good with this? If we get to 1,000 instead of a boot, we will have a grown man drink out of a dog bowl. And we'll do a three-way. Full dog bowl versus two boots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah? Dog, dog bowl boot race? He's giving me the thumbs up. I don't know if that's... He's in or something else. We've been talking about a lot of weird stuff in the office today. A lot of, lot of weird stuff. There's no doubt about it. But bosses are out of town. My one boss is seeing Taylor Swift, which, you know, man card. Also, <laughs> my other boss, he had to leave today because it was his off day. So shout out to Brett. But it's just the guys today and Abby. It's just the, <laughs> it's just the boys. It's just the guys today and Jack. So, um the question we asked Jermaine Illuminor that he kind of built, or built, he, what's the, what, around the bush. Beat around the bush? Yeah, I couldn't think of it. He said both. But I think he meant Jimmy Garoppolo. So who's a better quarterback? <laughs> Derek Carr or Jimmy Garoppolo? Get those votes in right now. Raider Nation is then, taking over from Sergio. This, so, is, this is the Sergio show today. How about this? We're going to do our next segment so we can get that out of the way before he gets cleaned up and gets back before on. Before Jermaine hops back on here. That's fair. And then, yes? He said he would. He said that he would hop back on the show. Um, I've been checking. So his, his flight's been canceled, he told me, three times. Yeah, he said he got another one, but he also was like, Do they have saunas at the airport? No, so oh, okay. his flight, um, he said his flight is at 3.55, but that would be Pacific time. So we have two hours oh. until his flight takes off. Ah. So he also told me, he said that he would call me, and if, uh, if need be, it would be in the car with his wife. So that could be something. His new wife. So if he's in the car... Be careful. We got to congratulate him. My wife. We got to congratulate him because he just got married last he, month. He just got done with his honeymoon, right? Just got done with his honeymoon. Hey, give give, give some of these in the comments for that. When he some of some of these. Hey, yeah. That a boy, Jermaine. That a boy. Who 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 who? That a boy, Jermaine. <laughs> Jermaine. Jermaine. <laughs> Congrats to number seventy-two. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. While I, we're waiting for Jermaine I, Illuminor to come back, I just want you to read this super chat before we start our next segment. DC, and it's not even close. <laughs> Shout out to Sancho. I, I will say, though, if Garoppolo can play a full year, I think it might be closer than what people think. Because Carr was not good last season. And, and Garoppolo, before he was injured, was actually pretty good. We'll see, though. We'll, uh, we'll see. As long as... The Raiders win football games. That's all I care about. That's that's literally all I. Patrick, Jimmy can spin it. The autumn win. I doubt it, Mitch. Honestly, the autumn win. I don't necessarily disagree with you, but glass half full. Remember, that's the objective of this offseason, keeping the glass half full. All right, so this is what's going to be happening here on today's show. We got a special segment for all of y'all. I got every single player. That the Raiders had an official 30 or a top 30 visit with. And I have all of them ranked from number 30 down to number one. 
I just have no idea what, what you're doing. So um, from 30 down to 1, and then after that, it's time to get happy hour started. And then after that, I'm hoping Jermaine Illuminor pops back up and here on the show with some clothes. After the segment. But I'm taking my shirt off once we're Jermaine gets here. We are $300 away. After the segment, either just me and Mitch are doing a, a, a boot. boot race. Yep. If we get to that number... We're going to have one of our coworkers, host of the Browns, fill a dog bowl up with beer. A bowl that his dog used to use. And he's going to race us two boots and a dog bowl. Yep. Which I think the dog bowl might be harder because it's not really like that pourable. It's not as much beer, but it's harder to drink out of. Yes. I would, I honestly, I would rather Petey do it with no hands. Deal. I'm down. If you saw that, I'm sorry, but <laughs> no context and you're on mute, that's weird. What what just happened here? So, all right, who's ready to get into this show? You ready? Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play today. Look at me. I can play Cinefield. What position did you play in Little League? Uh, first base. Okay. Pitcher and shortstop. That was it. I wanted to catch, but the only time I ever caught in Little League, I took a foul ball straight to the stomach. Never wanted to Ra catch again. Raiderville, no way. I'm not drinking that. Michelob Ultra. God. That sounds like a Tyler Jones specialty. Yeah. No way. I'm, I, I drink Michelob, not that. So, you know that cookie game that we talked about the other day? Yeah. I seen Tyler do that with a Bud Light. <laughs> Oh, my God. I, I'm telling you. He said next time, make it a Michelob so it's challenging. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. All right, y'all. I think it is time to get into this segment before the show gets even more off the walls than it already is. For those that don't know, we still owe six, drink, six beers, essentially. So Chugs and I, we're going to do a boot race. Um, and then we'll see we'll... We'll continue to see where this thing goes. Away, 300 away, and we're adding a dog bowl in there. Yep. Oh, dude, I had a bloody nose before Jermaine came on the show, Giggity. Mm. And uh, Maybe you should stop messing with it. Well, I have, like, a rock in here, and it needs to come out. All right, here we go. The you rock? Ready? No, no, Dwayne is not in there, but I got a blood rock. It's got to come out. Yep, all right. Here we go. Coming up right now in the segment Jeremy and I have uh, scheduled for you. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders board, and today's show is presented by Manscaped. The Las Vegas Raiders were allowed 30 top prospect visits, and if you want to be a top prospect for your girl, then go to manscaped.com. Use code Raiders on all of their amazing products for 20% off and free shipping. So coming up here today, one of my favorite shows that I do at Chat Sports are NFL Power Rankings. So I was like, all right, how could I take NFL Power Rankings and then do that with the Raiders' top 30 visits? So essentially, I have ranked from 30 all the way down to one in terms of overall team needs slash how good they are. I put together my own personal big board of the Raiders' top 30 visits, and we're going to count down from 30 and go down to one. Coming in here at number 30, his name is Trey Hawkins, cornerback from Old Dominion. I'll be honest, before this show, didn't do a lot of research on him. I don't think that he actually ends up getting drafted. To me, this is going to be a player that, if he goes undrafted, could be an interesting UDFA signing because of the length. 6'3", 195 pounds, good production from Old Dominion, and I was told by a good source that the Raiders like some of the Old Dominion players, which you'll see here in just a second. Let's go to the next player on the list at number 29, Jake Witt, offensive lineman from Northern Michigan. Another player that could be a seventh rounder, if you will. More than likely, though, is going to be a dude that ends up going undrafted. At least, that's my personal opinion on Witt overall. So, you don't have to go to it, Jeremy. So, Jake Witt, the stats there, unfortunately, are not accurate. Let's go to 28. It's DJ Johnson, the edge out of Oregon. 
I like DJ Johnson. He's edge slash outside linebacker is how I would look at it. 39 tackles, six sacks, zero force fumbles is from Sacramento, so like the beam. And he's undersized for a defensive end, but he's a lot bigger than a linebacker. So if the Raiders don't like Malcolm Coons, they could potentially look at him. I anticipate DJ Johnson to be around six to around seven selection in this year's draft. Let's go to number 27. It's a name that a lot of y'all are going to recognize. It's Dorian Thompson Robinson. It's not that I don't like Robinson. I think he's a really athletic quarterback. To me, I don't think he's that good of a fit, though, in the Josh McDaniel system. And then on top of that, there's other quarterbacks that the Raiders have met with, which is why he's at number 27. Las Vegas native, decent arm, not the best decision maker for the amount of football that he's played with the Bruins. At number 26 here in my top 30 visit rankings, Jason Taylor II. Good safety prospect out of Oklahoma State. Probably going to go somewhere in that 5th, 6th, 7th round range. 6 foot, 215 pounds. I do think he could end up being a solid special teams player. But he's got production. When he had the ability to cause a turnover, he did it. 6 interceptions, 7 pass breakups, 99 tackles last season for the Cowboys. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more Raiders draft videos. We put out more content than literally anybody on, out on YouTube. In fact, the reason why we have over 136,000 subscribers, because we put out a video every single day on this channel for three straight years. If you like commitment to excellence, we're the channel for you. Let me prove it to you. Subscribe. Let's go to 25 on my list. It's Daniel Scott. I don't know if he's related to Michael but I hope that this guy gets his paper this upcoming season. He's probably going to go somewhere in the fifth, sixth round is where I anticipate it. Really good leader for Cal last season. 85 tackles, three INTs, and four pass breakups. At number 24 in my rankings, Aiden O'Connell, the quarterback from Purdue. I know that the Raiders like O'Connell a lot. And if they want to target somebody on day three, this is the player that I believe that they end up targeting. They have met with him privately. They had a combine visit with him. And then they also had a top 30 visit, obviously, right? He's in the show. So they like Aiden O'Connell a lot. At number 23 in my rankings, it's Jalen Duncan, the offensive tackle from Maryland. Depending on who you talk to, Jalen Duncan is the prospect that I'm, I'm just going to do the I don't know emoji because from an athletic profiling standpoint, super athletic. Like, he is super athletic. From a, I watched the tape standpoint, look at the numbers from 2022, he stinks. Like, that's just me being real. If you're Carmen Brasillo, though, you look at this guy as a piece of clay, and you're like, I can mold him into something beautiful. Sounds kind of weird. Let's go to number 22, Dorian Williams, the linebacker out of Tulane. The Raiders looked at a lot of linebackers and even a lot of cornerbacks, I would say, that are probably going to go in that third round to fifth round range, which is one of the biggest reasons why I'm a believer that the Raiders use those seven picks from round five, six, and seven to trade up to get back into like these middle rounds, round four, round five area. Williams had a pretty solid season this past year with a green wave. 131 tackles, five sacks, and two forced fumbles. Another player that I hope ends up happening is Zach Koontz. Zach Koontz might be one of my favorite overall prospects in this year's class. He is, if you want to look at numbers, the numbers that he put up at his Pro Day Combine were better than Darren Waller's. He's 6'8", 250 pounds. He went to Penn State. It did not work out there. He goes over to Old Dominion. If you want an unbelievably freakish athlete at tight end who's that big and that you can probably get a little bit later on, his name is Zach Koontz. And if they draft Hendon Hooker, Hooker to Koontz in Las Vegas, sounds like a t-shirt. If you haven't already heard, our sponsor today is Manscaped. And there's probably a joke in there somewhere with Zach Koontz, but I'm not going to make it. Use code Raiders at Manscaped.com to get your hands on the Lawnmower 4.0. This bad boy is usually $85, but with our discount code, you can get it for $67.99. Honestly, I think they're missing on this. You add an extra dollar to that, and that thing's going to just fly off the shelves. And if you're trying to get to that extra dollar, 
You know what I'm talking about. You better make sure that your downstairs is shaved. I wore this jersey for a reason. Shout out to Hellcat Q. I know Hellcat Q. He's using Manscaped. His balls are looking fresh and clean because he cares. With the NFL draft, all I'm trying to do right now is make sure that you're the top prospect. You want to be number one on your board. And if you're using Manscaped, Jeremy, it's not just a board. It's a big board. Every inch counts, and that's what Manscaped's going to help you do. So 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. If you don't know, go down to the comments. Go down to the description right now. Take advantage of the steal. Steven69 says fresh and clean. That's right, Steven, and that's why it's 69. Let's go to number 20 on my list of top 30 visit rankings. Byron Young, the edge out of Tennessee. When I did these rankings, when I got done, I'll be honest. I felt like I had Byron Young too low. I really did. I like him as a prospect. I really, really do. He's undersized, but he's really athletic. 47 tackles, three and a half sacks, and a forced fumble. I will be curious because I know how much the Raiders love chemistry. The fact that they took Matthew Butler last season, could that lead to them taking Byron Young this season? Number 19, his name is Corey Trice, and it's a name that I want you all to know. Corey Trice is another player that I brought up probably a good month ago on this show, and I said he's going to be a player that people need to start recognizing. 6'3", 215 pounds, very athletic, very long and lanky. If the Raiders were able to land Trice and like the fourth or fifth round, it's a steal. I He's a top, he's the number 99 overall prospect on my big board. So if you had to go get him at 100, I'd be on board for it. Trice out of Purdue is a hell of a player. At number 18, I'm going to go with Jamie Robinson, safety from Fresno State. And every prospect you're going to see from here on out is in my top 100. Robinson, super versatile safety, who the Raiders from what I understand, are looking for a player that they can use in a, I'm going to say like Jabril Peppers, Jordan Love, uh, not Jordan Love, um, Julian Love, like a versatile safety that they can play all over the football field. And that's what Jamie Robinson can potentially do for Patrick Graham. Number 17 here, cornerback out of Miami, Tyreek Stevenson. I'm still a little bit up in the air on how much I like him. Like, some of the people that I trust love Tyreek Stevenson. And then there's another, there's other people out there, I'm like, that they don't love him. If you want to talk about a freak athlete, he is. He is a freakish athlete. But sometimes I don't love the tape. And I am a person that loves tape first. If you want to bet on talent... Tyreek Stevenson, though, is probably a player that you can bet on. Let's go to number 16 here. It's Dalton Kincaid. Dalton Kincaid has good numbers. Can catch the football. 6'4", 240 pounds, 70 grabs, 890 yards last season for Utah. The negatives, injuries, and he's, I believe, 25 years old. I'm 30 now, so it sounds weird to say somebody that's 25 is old. But in NFL terms, 25 is kind of getting up there in age, especially for being a rookie. At number 15, it's Zay Flowers. If if wide receiver was a need for the Raiders, Flowers would be higher on my list. I love Zay Flowers. And I'm not saying this because whatever. From a selfish reason, I hope Zay Flowers goes to another team, not the Raiders. Because I think he's going to be a player that he's going to go to another team and he's going to have success. Where if he goes to the Raiders... Honestly, if the Raiders were to draft him at 38, I'd be like, which I've said probably 100 times this offseason, that's bad news for Hunter Renfro. He's a really good player, really good athlete. Yes, he is undersized, but he's a lot stronger than what he gets credit for. Zay Flowers is a hell of a prospect, but this is also based on team needs. Does anybody think that the Raiders need a wide receiver right now? I know I don't. At number 14, it's Hendon Hooker, quarterback from Tennessee. There are some people out there that have Hendon Hooker ranked a lot higher. I think he is a good quarterback. He's going to go in round two. I have him just at like 47 or 46 in my rankings for prospects overall. Before the ACL injury, I think he might have been the Heisman front runner. And unfortunately for him, because of that, he went, or he, he would have went higher if he would have torn the ACL. There's just a lot of other quarterbacks that I would rather the Raiders take. 
and I want the Raiders to go defense early on. So, yeah, I'd be, I would still convince myself that, okay, Hooker at number 38 is probably a C grade. But deep down, I would rather the Raiders take a quarterback like a Jay Kaner, Aiden O'Connell in round five, round six, and stock up on defense instead of taking Hooker at pick two and then maybe potentially missing out on some defensive players a little bit later on. At number 13, his teammate, Darnell Wright, offensive tackle from Tennessee. Another player that I will say is, is ranked higher on my overall player big board, but for the Raiders is not ranked nearly as high. 6'6", 335 pounds. He might be the second, third best offensive tackle in this year's class. I just don't believe offensive tackle is that much of a need compared to what some ESPN NFL analysts think out there. I'll tell you this right now. I know this Raiders team better than anybody on ESPN, better than anybody on the NFL Network. I don't care who it is. This is my life. Darnell Wright, hell of a player. It's not that big of a need. Let's go to number 12 here. It's Dayon Henley, linebacker from Washington State. The Silver and Black love this young man, and he's probably going to go in round two. If he falls to round three, the Raiders are going to do jumping jacks, and he's a player to absolutely keep in mind for them to trade up for. They love his sideline-to-sideline -side ability. They like his ability to play in coverage. Also, from what I understand, the Raiders view him as being a good fit if they want to go with 4-2-5, which is what Patrick Graham sometimes tries to do with five defensive backs and two linebackers. So Dayon Henley, definitely a guy to keep in mind. He's number 12. Let's go to another linebacker, though. It's Jack Campbell. Jack Campbell is not as nearly as, I'll say, versatile as Henley, but there are some players that are just really good at football. And Jack Campbell, to me, out of Iowa, is my number two ranked linebacker overall. 125 tackles last season for the Buckeyes. Is definitely more of your prototypical middle linebacker. But you know what? I think he's, right now, better than Robert Spillane. If they were to draft Jack Campbell, Jack Campbell, better than Spillane right now. And if that's the case, I'm the guy I'd rather you play the better player. Before I show you my top 10, what's the best food to eat while watching the NFL draft? I mean, I, Jeremy and I, Jeremy's actually the leader of food here at Chat Sports. He gets us a spread, giggity, of all sorts of different food. My personal favorite food, when enjoying the NFL draft, quesadillas. Simple, easy to pick up, get some protein, not too messy. I want to know, though, because I'm hoping y'all watching our live NFL draft coverage here on Chat Sports, here on the Raiders Report, you're going to be chowing down with us. Let's go to number 10 on my list here of top 30 visits for the Raiders. Keely Ringo. Keely Ringo, the more and more I watch him, the more and more I start to think, could he be... I'm going to say a name, and it's going to scare the hell out of you. What the Raiders were hoping that they would get with Jonathan Abram. And what do I mean by that? A player that is athletic, but Ringo actually can cover a lot better than Abram ever could. Ringo is bigger than most corners, and he's a little bit undersized for his safety. However, I, if, if the Raiders were to draft him, I think he would end up playing that role where it's like box safety that you can also drop back as a strong safety and can just be a person that just flies all over the football field because from an athletic standpoint, he's one of the most athletically gifted players in this year's draft class. At number nine, it's Will Levis at quarterback. I know the Raiders aren't 100% sold on him, and I don't really think that there anybody is. Does he have arm talent? No doubt about it. Does he have a high upside? No doubt about it. Do people compare him to Josh Allen? Yes. Why? Because that's where his upside is. But if you're an NFL team, you have to be able to recognize the floor. And is he a top 20 overall prospect at this point? Yeah. He probably is on most people's boards. There are some teams, though, that don't have him in the first round. He's a good quarterback. But for team needs and where the Raiders are, he's number nine on my list. At number eight, I'm going to go Deonta Banks, cornerback out of Maryland, which I am super happy about because the more and more time has gone, the more and more respect Banks has gotten. I remember two months ago, I said, watch out for Banks to be a early second round pick. And now I don't even think he falls to the second round. He's 6'2", 205. I, he might be more athletically gifted than a Christian Gonzalez, than a Joey Porter Jr., than a Devin Witherspoon. Like, he's that physically gifted. Needs to get better with his technique a little bit. But what Banks brings to the table, 
I'm ready to cash in. Let's go to number seven here. It's Brian Branch at safety from Alabama. I do not think that safety is a bigger need than corner, but Branch to me is that much better than Banks, where to me, I would take Branch if he was on the board for the Raiders. If the Raiders are like 14, 15, 16, 17, yes, I get it. He's a safety. I would still go that route because of the key word, versatility. And that's why Branch is ranked higher than me than Banks. At number six, it's Anthony Richardson. He is, I'll say, the most interesting prospect in this year's draft. I mean, I don't know if he drinks Dos Equis, but he's the most interesting player in this year's draft. He can be the best quarterback in the NFL. That's his upside. He also could be out of the NFL in three years because of the downside. If you can put him in the right system and you can put the right talent around him, he has the opportunity to be that good. But th if anybody can look you dead in the eyes and say they know for a fact what's going to happen with Anthony Richardson, they're lying to you. Before I show you my top five, what is your drink of choice when you watch the NFL draft? I know for Chugs and I, we're going to have some Happy Dads. We're going to have some Trulies. Probably going to have some light beers as well. Fireball, duh. Nope, probably none of that. So what's your favorite choice of drink when you're watching the NFL draft? We will not have the presenting sponsor of the draft. Joey Porter Jr. next up here at number five. And this is where I start to get into the realistic options I look at for the Raiders at number seven. He's a good player. Is he a little bit handsy? Yes, but athletically gifted. Would be a good fit in Graham's system. Press cornerback, 6'2", 198 pounds. People love the fact that his dad, Joey Porter, longtime Steelers, great, ha knows what it takes to succeed in the NFL. And I know there's a lot of coaches out there where if dad did it, he can teach kid. And teams like that. Ziegler and McDaniels, like, he's my number two cornerback on my, ah, that's a lie. He's my number three cornerback this year. Let's go to number four. It's Tyree Wilson. Corner is a bigger need than edge rusher. I'll tell you that right now. However, Tyree Wilson is my number two ranked overall edge rusher compared to where Joey Porter is my third ranked corner. And there's a big enough gap where I put Tyree above Joey. So if it came down to those two players and you had to pick one, I will take Wilson. I would love the fact that you pair him with Max Crosby. Tyree Wilson reminds me a lot of Chandler Jones. And if he turns out to be a player like Chandler Jones, that's a Hall of Fame caliber player. He's that physically gifted. Tyree Wilson is going to be a menace in the NFL. At number three, it's Jalen Carter. And this is more just based on the on-field ability. You can't deny it. Jalen Carter is a unbelievable talent. Nobody will dispute that. It's the off-the-field shenanigans. And if it wasn't for the off-field shenanigans, he would be number one on my list. At number two, it's quarterback C.J. Stroud from Ohio State. This is Dave Ziegler's favorite quarterback in this year's class. However, it is not McDaniels' favorite quarterback in this year's class. There's going to be a lot of people that look at the Ohio State helmet. I don't want you to look at that. I want you to judge the player. From his tape alone, it's solid. There's going to be people out there that look at the S2 testing, which I've talked about. He scored in the 18th percentile. That's not good at all. But I believe C.J. Stroud has the prototypical size, arm strength, everything to look at to be successful. It's just, will he find the right spot? That's the biggest question mark with Stroud. Coming in here, though, at number one, it's Bryce Young. Bryce Young is the number two quarterback for Dave Ziegler, but the number one quarterback overall for Josh McDaniels. He scored in the 98th percentile in the S2 test. Is he undersized? Yes, absolutely. Should that worry you as an NFL franchise? Of course it should. But I'm also a big-time believer in, I'm going to call Bryce Young the Stephen Curry of football, where it's a big thing to live up to. But if there was a lot of teams out there that said, Steph Curry's too small. Steph Curry's not going to be good enough to play in the NBA. But Steph Curry could ball. And when I watch Bryce Young... Dude can ball. And I really, truly believe that where he goes, he's going to have success. Will injuries come? Maybe. But that's the NFL. Injuries are always a risk. Bryce Young is a baller. And for that reason, he's number one on my top 30 visit list. So who's your guy? Who's the number one player Vegas brought in on a visit that they should draft? I want to know the name right now. That was my top 30 list. The number one player that Vegas brought in on a visit that they should draft, in my personal opinion, 
out of every single player that they brought in. I'm going to tease you a little bit. We're going to roll through the top 30 rankings here real quick. But if overall value, if I had to go with any person out there on the overall value chart, I'm going to say Corey Trice. If you can get Trice probably in the fourth or fifth round, that's a steal. If you got to take him a little bit earlier, you know, it is what it is. I love Jamie Robinson, the safety out of Florida State. I think Joey Porter Jr. is a good player, though he's my third-ranked overall corner. They didn't bring in Witherspoon. I see he's from Frozen Raider, but I want the Raiders to go defense, defense, and then a little bit more defense. If you want to watch Chat Sports' live NFL draft content, then what I want you to do is subscribe at the link below. They will get the picks even before I do here on the Raiders Report. And last season, we had close to a million viewers there. So if you think these shows get wild, wait till you check it out over there. Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern time is when we will get the party started. So please go check out Chat Sports and go check out our draft content. All right, y'all, that was our top 30 power rankings list for the Las Vegas Raiders. Friendly reminder, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at MitchellRent365. And if you want to hit me up on IG as well, this might surprise you. It's... Mitchell Renz three six five. Is this it? I don't know. I just got some big time news here. I, you you kind of worried me a little bit. Is it right? <sighs> yep. Let's go to it. Sergio. Sergio, Sergio, Rufio, 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 Bangarang! Let's go! All right, so, Sergio, just so you know that you are now at 500 in Venmo, so you already have one jersey. If you want another jersey here on the Raiders Report, just message me. I, I don't want to say what he did. Or, Sergio, it's up to you. You can either get another jersey here on the Raiders Report. Or, if you want to basically give your jersey to somebody else. And then we'll do like a raffle during the draft. Presented by Sergio Orozco. That is another option. We had another Raider fan do that. I'm not going to be able to say who it is yet. But I want you to message me, or you can put in the group chat, whatever you want in the live show. That's up to you. You want another jersey? Let's get it. If not, raffle. It's up to you. We won't raffle it today. It will be during the NFL draft, just so y'all know. Just so y'all know. All right, let me message Jermaine Illuminor. Or if you have a family member that's on. Or, yeah, or if you got a family member, like Buddy Bear got one for his cat. So... If you got a family member that you have, okay, we're going to raffle it off. Wow. Give my jersey away to someone. All right, here's what we're going to do. Y'all are going to spam Sergio right now. I'll tell you this. When I get the Sergio jersey, I'm wearing that piece, and I'm going to wear that on a Friday show. And I'm going to tell Alex, don't make any freaking, don't make any plans. No plans for that day. Sergio is the GOAT, man. Sergio is going wild. Let's go get those Sergios going in the chat. Get those Sergios going in the chat. Janine Garcia. Oh, we saw it. We saw it. So what you guys are about to see is two beer boots and then a beer dog bowl race. And then we're going to keep this show rocking and rolling, man. Frozen Raider, Peak Boogie, Husker Raider, Sauce Man 805.
continue to get those shout outs rolling. Also, if you're just tuning in right now, Jermaine Illuminor was on the show a little bit earlier. He did his interview from a sauna, which is interesting. He said he's going to get cleaned up. He's got a flight, and then he's going to come back on the show. So we're going to hang out here for a little bit until he's uh, back on the show, which is then going to have an opportunity for you guys to ask him questions. So you guys will have the ability to ask him questions. Essentially, what we'll do is I'll say, all right, yeah, all right. Heavy, heavy liquid. This is me? Truly? What flavor? Pineapple. Oh, I was just going to say it smells like pineapple. Oh. oh, lemonade. So it's. Okay, go get Petey. Go get Petey. Oh, man. I will say this. There has been one person on Mount Raider Moore that just said we should add Sergio Orozco to Mount Raider Moore. So the way that it works, Sergio, is this. If all six members agree, you will be up for the running on Mount Raider Moore. Right now we have six Mount Raider Moore members. They are Raider Ron, Trivan. David Zahn, Raiders Podcast, John Borelli, and can you name the last one? Can you name the last one? Who is it? All right, Jeffrey, you got it. <laughs> Wild one, 14. I think I said try, man. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I left off Wild one. David Zahn. Zahn. Zahn was the one that voted for Sergio just now in our group chat. So, Zahn says you get the vote. I'll tell you this. What Sergio has done over the last two months, and now the fact that he just donated that jersey, you got my vote, Sergio. It's just up to Mount Raider more, and uh, they might give you a challenge. And if they do, they do. He was. Oh, man. So Zahn just put in the group chat that he is nominating Sergio for Mount Raider more. Wow, that's big. That's big. It's big stuff. That's, that's like the vice president giving you an award. That's big. Big stuff right there. Okay. Cool. All right. So, Petey, who owes us a dog bowl, believe it or not, he's actually making a video. This is what we do here at Chat Sports. And Jermaine did say he would pop back up on the show. So, I messaged him and said, All right, hang on. Let me know when you're good to come back on the show. Same link. It. It's funny because I was thinking of Martin Yeah. whenever we were talking about Jermaine because, like he said, when, I, when we were first talking to him, he's from England. Yep. Martin, I was thinking of you immediately. I was like, I got to ask him about beans and toast. Ugh. I got to ask him about beans and toast, better breakfast, American or English breakfast. American. It's not close. I don't know. It's not close. I'm telling you this right now. German breakfast was overrated. Ang really? English breakfast, very, like, when I was in Germany, I remember, so they had, for German breakfast when I lived over there, they had Brutchen, oh, yeah. which was like a special bread, which the bread is very good, but it was literally just bread with like different toppings. Yeah. That was it. Is that camera going to work over there? How's it going over there? No, he's going oh. to All right, so Petey's going to pour into his dog bowl. And yes, it is a Browns bowl. And yes, that shirt is salmon. You know, I'm a salmon boy today. That was the, uh, I don't know, the mindset when I got dressed as salmon. A salmon boy. I'm a salmon boy. You make me look like a dwarf. 
I'm an island boy. I'm just trying to make it. Now, who is this dog bowl uh, for? We got Sergio. 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 So this is for Sergio Orozco, Shout who's you, Sergio. who's the MVP of today's show. But Let's go, Sergio. Sergio so far has donated. It's a lot. Patrick B's been busy too. So we owe we at the time we owed a lot of drinks. Yeah, we we have a bit of a backlog. It looks like. So this is where we're going to get caught up. Once okay. once these go down, then every hundred from there on out. Actually, that's a lie because we got a special deal for the nation. Remember, I got a special happy hour deal. Less than a hundred for beer bongs. Oh, it's it's going to be electric. Friday happy hours. They are different this off season. <sighs> they're uh, they're insane. But so the, we we actually we wanted to ask you before we asked the nation. Yeah. Okay. Would you possibly be down no hands dog bowl? Um. I'm is, not that, opposed. Is, is that possible? It's just going to take a while because I don't have a tongue how, like a dog. How, how much for a no hands dog bowl? Like, I'll do one right now, but like, it's more or less just sticking my fat face in this bowl. And just blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there's no actual consumption, really. I mean, you It's pretty tough to like scoop it up it, and lap that shit for, up. In for your a tongue. super chat right now, how much would it have to be for a no hands dog bowl? Robert said it's pink, let's be honest. <laughs> it's it's a, hey, first off, I will say it looks different on screen. Uh, 50, 50, bucks, yeah. 50 bucks for a no-hands. Yeah. I can go like full Step Brothers, lick that white dog shit. He Pete, said, look, bot, no hands. Hey, I will no I will admit, no with hands. the green screen, the colors, certain colors get really effed up. Like, you yeah. guys have seen the beer. Like, beer, like, certain yellows look much, much lighter. Oranges look much lighter. Fireball gets screwed up. Fireball looks weird. And this shirt, like, this, on screen, Very different. it looks pink. It's not. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it looks it, like, uh, it's not. Like I'm a baby girl. Just got oh, so fifty bucks for a no hands dog bowl. Yeah. Uh, before we'll give we'll buy some time for them. How did the interview go? I thought Jermaine. The interview? Did you like it? Jermaine was really was down to earth. He was hot. Super. He was sweating. Oh, that kind of okay. Yeah, he was in the sauna. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, literally dripping, and I'm I'm not sure. Not sure if he had a towel on or not. Oh. Yeah, I'd, I'm not I'm not quite sure. But. Uh, any, any good juicy details? Um. Talk about when McDaniels is going to get fired or. Nope. Okay. He, so that's for the next interview. He believes in McDaniels. Janine, who oh. sent in her first Wait super chat today, said. When he said he believes in McDaniels, could you see the gun to his, to his head in the camera or was it off camera? See, he's also an old Patriot guy. So. Oh. He won. He has won. He's won before with McDaniel's. Yeah, he's won before with Belichick. I could have been there with McDaniel's. <sighs> All right. Well. Okay. We ready to this dog bowl? Janine, who sent in her first super chat of a hundred today. Okay, Janine. Just said, "I got you for 50. Okay, Janine. Let's see if you can uh, put your money where your mouth is. Uh, I'm still not. They're also sure. calling you Chugs Jr., which I don't think we look that much alike. Tell them about the uh, the game last night. Informed your, your minions? I don't even know Jeremy. if they know about Jeremy's oh, trivia league. I think they do. He has told them before when you were in the bathroom during your chip thing. Mm. He let them all know about our trivia battles. Okay. The team was in the postseason, uh, and I'll be honest, my team failed to qualify for the first time in team history. Which wow, is that's, yep. that's crazy. Uh, but his team was in it, and they got fucking waxed yesterday. I'm talking twelve five to beat. Twelve to five, which in like trivia numbers that's, is like. Mm. That's like thirty-eight to fourteen. He, he missed his. He missed his questions. It was a. Uh, did you get a single point? I don't think he did. <laughs> you could You was. It was a Tony Snell performance. How many targets did you get? Twenty-eight minutes, zero points, zero rebounds, zero assists. How many targets did you get? He Probably has about five shots. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. It's okay. Okay, we ready? Did I? I'll start. Can I and if we get to fifty, maybe I'll I got stop. one. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, if we get to fifty while well, this is going on. We'll add a little bit more, and I'll lap it up. All right, here we go. We got Jeremy's got a boot. I got a boot. And we got a dog bowl. After that, I got a hell of a deal for you. So let's get this thing going. Petey, you're the newbie on here, so it starts with you. Cannibal, cannibal coming, cannibal. Truly incredible. I mean, 
This is just greatness in front of uh, Jeremy Chugs and Chug Nadella. It makes me look terrible. I mean, he took down three, but Hunter took down one. It's insane. What was funny? What was funny was, oh, hang on. Over the weekend, last weekend, when we went to the Raiders event, the amount of people that came up to us and they were like, "So, do you guys do like real beers?" And we were like, "Yes, we do real beers." So Jeremy's like, you "See our kitchen floor. Oh, our it's kitchen covered in empty cases. It's disgusting." <laughs> it really is. I feel. I mean, we always tell him I feel bad for Brett because he goes to the liquor store. Alpha Epsilon Chef. <laughs> it's just, it's insane. So anyway, we, we ordered all the buckets of beer. And the only thing we didn't account for was how cold they were going to be. Oh, yeah. So anyway, he gets three beers, puts them in, and it's like, it was like seven and a half seconds. And everyone was just yeah, like. actually work for Sigma Chat Sports. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you, Raider Nation, for having me. Woo! Out. DZ, don't quit drinking. It's Friday happy hour. Zon. I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to offer a hell of a deal. Well. <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. You ready? Also, I have yet to add a single person to the Raiders Boot Hall of Fame. Just so you all know, we will get to that today. And I owe a bunch of them. You guys already see it. We're going to get close. I think with the amount of 100s we got today. Sergio had six Oh, I'm going to add. Yeah, we're, we're going to have some space to do it. We might have to auction off the boot. We might have to start a new boot today. We might have to start a new boot today. We might have to start a new boot today. Especially because people like Michael says. I love this super chat. I want everybody shout out Michael's wife. Okay, guys. I got some extra money this week, and wifey said I can spend on anything that I want. So here you go. Let's go. I'll just have to wait for my golf clubs till next month. This is because I truly dearly love my Raiders. Since 1983. Michael, Michael, Michael. Everybody pull down the horn. Pull down your 18-wheeler horn. Michael, 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 Michael. Michael with the bang. All right, Chugs. Here's what I want to do. for <laughs> Michael's wife. Michael's <laughs> wife. Michael's wife. <laughs> I'm actually going to put Michael slash wife on the Boot Hall of Fame. So, Chugs, this is what I want you to do. Get a put the question put a question up there for the nation. We owe Michael a beer uh, We actually have another super chat that came in. From Alacron's gaming. Is it true the Raiders don't have the cap salary for JJ? That's why they are looking at third round running backs. Is that true? No. I mean, right now the Raiders salary cap wise are they don't have a lot at two million. But that's already with the implication that Jacobs is making $10.09 million. So with that being said, one of the reasons why I think that the Raiders actually extend Jacobs this offseason is to lower his contract this year and backload it. Very similar to what they have done with you know, basically every contract that they brought in during free agency. So no, I, that, that, that's not true for, for Josh Jacobs. So... Alacron. Also, Hellboy, it. if you're going to be a hater, you're going to be put in timeout. Aw. Hellboy. Hellboy, it's Friday. You should be happy. Get right. a life. I got to add Sergio or Roscoe. Oh, you know who else is in the chat? Uh-oh. Who? Richard Rains. That guy fucks. <laughs> you would know. I mean, I'm here, so. <laughs> um, and actually... This actually ties in very well to a question that Mitch asked Jermaine about 30 minutes ago. Okay. If Jacob says he's not playing under the tag, either extend or trade, what would you do? I mean, he said he's the best running back in the league. And it's not even close. Well, he didn't say well, that. He didn't say that, but I'm, but adding, I'm adding that on. 
Those are the little um, parentheses like, on the side of it. However, though, when I hear that, I hear pay that man. He didn't say, he didn't really answer it, and he beat around the bush, which probably the smart thing to do for a lot of NFL players. And to be honest, if I was an NFL player making millions of dollars, I'd probably do the exact same thing. However, though, for you to say best running back in the National Football League, that screams to me, pay that man. But pay that man. if he says, I'm man. not playing on the franchise tag, do you trade him or do you pay him and extend him? What Let's do you see. do? Extend, 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 extend. I think the answer a lot of people are going to say is extend for two reasons. Okay. One, he's obviously really good. Yep. Two, I don't think with a running back of his caliber, you can ever get the return that you actually like deserve. No way. Because nobody wants to pay a running back. They don't want to trade capital for a running back. I think the other thing that people don't think about with Jacobs, and again, this is coming from me, guy whose team not pay running back, I wouldn't give Jacobs a four or five-year extension. I'd give him a three-year extension, but basically it would be a two-year extension because like, those would be the guarantees. For how good Jacobs is, in any other era of the NFL, he would garner a first-round pick. Well, yeah. It, I think the other thing that benefits Jacobs is he's only 25 years old, okay? Yeah. That's that's big number one. But if you were to look at a running back like Jonathan Taylor, for example, Jonathan Taylor, the amount of touches he got at Wisconsin, okay? Jacobs was never the workhorse. In fact, yeah. he was the number two back at Alabama. Has he been the number one running back for the Raiders over the last four years? Yes, he absolutely has. But... I would say wear and tear on tires-wise, four years of Josh Jacobs is like what some running backs will get in that three and then the first two years in the NFL. Like, three years in college, two years in the NFL. To me, Josh Jacobs does still have a lot. My only concern with him, and the reason why I would structure his contract the way that I would is because I don't know if Jacobs would do this, but people have a tendency when you get paid, instead of going 100%, Maybe you go 90. And yeah. in the NFL, that big of a drop-off can be a big difference. Injuries, you don't get the production. 100%. But uh, I, if, if Jacobs, you give him two years guaranteed and make him earn that third year, that's where I think it's and, worth and, it. And I think that's why an extension ends up getting done because a trade doesn't make sense for either side. Because if I'm a team and I want a quarterback or I, I want a running back that bad, yeah, I'm honestly trading up for Bijan. Because you get... Somebody who you think can be as talented as Josh Jacobs. You don't trade up for Bijan. And you're, I mean, I'm saying if you're going to trade up, trade either trade, if you're contemplating trading for Josh Jacobs, I'd rather trade up for Bijan than trade for Josh Jacobs. Because you I get him know. on a rookie deal. I guess it depends, like, it depends how far you got to trade up. Like, I won't trade up for a running back in today's NFL. Today's NFL, I ain't trading up for a running back. And, but, and exactly, in today's NFL, I'm not trading a first for a running back regardless. I don't think it's going to cost you a first for Jacobs. To be honest with you, I think if the Raiders didn't want to, if they didn't want him. A third? Yeah, I think it'd be like a third and a fifth, which sucks. Like, like I'm telling you right now, that sucks. You're, you're, but the Raiders would do that because they don't want to pay Your second him. best offensive player for a third. I mean, you could argue that he's the best offensive player on the Raiders. Like, I love Devontae Adams. I think we all, we all love Devontae Adams. But Jacobs was more important to that Raiders offense last season than Devontae, which is saying a lot. It's saying a lot. Okay, well, you said Jacobs over Devontae. Okay. What do y'all think? Who will be the Raiders offensive MVP next season? Ooh, man. Will it be Jacobs? Will it be Devontae? Could it be Jacoby Myers? I don't know. Only if he's throwing to. Oh, I had to burp. Chandler. <laughs> that Let's burp see. came from my toes. Josh Jacobs, Josh Jacobs, Devontae, no questions asked. Hey, Hooker, Devontae, Jimmy G, Adams, Devontae. I think there's really two answers to this. Yeah, and I think the fact that there are two answers to this, and I still think most of them are Josh Jacobs. It's tough. Like, 
it's tough to move on for Jacobs. Yeah. But the other reason why I want Josh Jacobs is because I think if you're Josh McDaniels or Dave Ziegler, you look at the offense that you run and you look at your future. If it's going to be Jimmy Garoppolo behind center, you need Jacobs. Mm -hmm. You need to have a running back like Josh Jacobs to succeed for you to keep your job, okay? Especially if... And then if you were to get a rookie... Especially like if what Jermaine was saying, if Alex Bars is starting at right guard... No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I didn't want to say it to Jermaine, but <laughs> Alex Barr is at right guard. Not going to happen. N no chance. Um, that, they must be boys. I mean, I, I can understand, right? Like, they play next to each other on the offensive line, but. Locker right next to him. He's like, yeah, you're going to start, bro. You're starting. That's one of those things where, you know. <laughs> I saw your face when he said it, too. That's why I'm bringing it up. Whenever he said that, it was a, oh, yeah, for sure. All right, so Jermaine just messaged me. Let's go. Hang on. Hang on. He said he literally he's, he's going to do this at the airport. So he's when he pops back on in the show, it's going to be at the airport. So he said he's pulling up to the airport now. He's going to get checked in. He's going to go through clearance. At the Vegas airport? At the gate. So he's going to be at the gate, and he's going to call Wait. us in. Dude. Do we, uh, do we do a poll? What bet, uh, what airport food does Jermaine get? We could probably do that. I mean, he's, honestly, from what I understand, he's uh, he seems like he's down. Killer Cruz and says, what airport? He's probably at one right now. Um, <laughs> I forget. No, I, I feel like it'd be one of those scenarios where I'd be like. I was going to say, if he's at the Vegas airport, we got to ask him to play some slots. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Though I have heard Vegas slots, <coughs> the the slot ones at the machines, airport. The ones at the airport. I got told by somebody who runs one of the biggest casinos in Las Vegas. I, I think I heard the same thing that you heard. That you play the slots at the airport because if you lose, and while you're leaving, if you win before you fly out, that you're more likely to come back. And that is somebody who owns one of the biggest casinos in Las Vegas. I actually, when me and James went to Vegas, before we left, as well, our flight got delayed for four hours. Um, so we were literally at the airport chilling, nothing to do. I put 40 bucks in there, and uh, I lost it all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's part of gambling, but um, two years ago, was it two years ago? Yeah, two years ago I had the opportunity to meet one of the owners of a casino in Las Vegas. And, uh, yeah, that's what he told me. Rebel says that's false. I mean, I'm just going off of what he told me. I actually don't gamble. So it's one thing I try not to do. My mom's side of the family, they love it. But Alex Barr's starting right guard. Imagine a friend and that friend tells you, hey, I want to do this. And in the back of your mind, you're like, that's never going to happen. That's, that's how I felt. So this next question, because Jermaine is going to be joining us at the airport, yep. we've actually been debating this, not even because of Jermaine, but this debating a... this over the past week in the office. I know Harrison has a strong feeling about this. The best airport restaurant to eat at during a layover or delay, what is it? I got to go pee. <laughs> I got to go pee. Harrison, Harrison's got a strong opinion on it. I got to go. Right. Chugs, this is perfect did it, for did you it to just take hit you? Huh? No, I've had to pee for about five minutes, but I got to pee. All right. There you have it. Let us know. You know the rules. You know the rules. Best restaurant, airport restaurant to eat at during a layover or delay. People in the office. How much for shots? Huh? Shots. Yeah. For for you? Yeah. It's either ten or twenty. All right. Every ten is a shot for Mitch until he gets back. Uh, Amex Lounge Airport Bar. I don't know. A lot of people in the office. They're saying Chili's. Ha Harrison. Graham is a Chili's stan. Chili, he, see, he literally just said, Chili's don't miss. I don't know what. It is a shot clock right now. Mitch has gone to pee. 
So, Martin, so do I go for a third mug of tea? Stone Brewery from David's On. Let me know in the chat. Best restaurant to eat at during a layover or a, or a delay at the airport. Um, what airline? No, 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 that's falling. No, no, no. Let me know. The bars from Chris Island. They have a different restaurant every terminal damn near. Harry Reid International. David's on. I can't do it this week. Hey, Mitch, Mitch might go to the restroom with no repercussions. We'll see. Queen Sarah Auto, never been on a plane. Never been on a plane, Sarah. Let me ask you, Sarah. Would you be with, like, do you think you would be good going on a plane? Is it just because you haven't traveled? Or do you not like to fly? Only flown three times. A cat, a monkey, hey Zeus, with the first one. Let's go. Hey, guys. Chili's. Cheers, Mitch. Hey, people in the office, chili stands. Queen Sarah said both. Hey, I get it. The, fir I, I, the first time I flew, Sarah, was um, not until I uh, was in college. I had never flown as a kid. Mile High Club? <laughs> uh, Big Mac and fries is taking Southwest from Robert Jansen. So, somebody said Panda earlier. Oh, actually, Mahjong Boo, that's funny you said that. We literally had Shake Shack in the office today. Not my personal favorite burger place. I think it's a little overpriced. Just my opinion. Water, let's go, Husker. Water burger, better than in and out Water burger from Husker Raider. Oh, no. R. Dobbs, I'm, hard, I'm sorry to hear that. Got on a plane once and got a blood clot in my leg. They have special socks for those now. Mahjong Boo, no lies told. Dude, I'm telling you, Shake Shack, good. Also very overpriced. Panda is a quick way to spend your whole flight in the bathroom from Raider 805. There's somebody in the office that... Um, yeah, Panda's their mortal enemy, I would say, for right now. Chugs, you ever had Baker's? I've never had Baker's. Is that, I'm, I'm guessing that's either a bread or potato place. Um, Mario, I've flown three times and always ate Tic Tacs. I felt nervous. The worst is the takeoff and the landing. Once you're up there, you're up there, you know? Uh, I had to take a Zan on planes in the aisle seat. Don't watch Final Destination as a kid from the Moto Chick. Yeah. Aaron Devandry, Whataburger tastes the same as Sonic. No, Aaron, get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. Whataburger is not the same as Sonic. Yeah. I, I, honestly had, I honestly had a fear of flying before... I went on my first flight, but I didn't go on my first flight until I was 19. Baker's is a burger place. Damn, I got to try that. We tried, we tried last month, we tried um, In-N-Out for the first, not for the first time. I didn't try it years, years ago. Not bad, not great. The fries, eh. The burger with the chopped chilies and the bacon, that was a good call. And the shake was really good. Let's go. Oh. Miche's Rins. Oh, uh, yep, you're good. You'll actually be glad to hear no damage. <laughs> oh, Mitch, Mitch is very thankful. That we didn't get any uh, craziness at, at, as he was gone. I take Southwest count layers of paint on entry enough to make you wonder. What does that mean? Count layers of paint. Um, Patrigo, what's your favorite fast food? Ooh. If I could only eat one fast food place for the rest of my for the rest of my life, it's Chick Fil A. 
And I know it's, they don't have meat, they don't have burgers, but you get grilled chicken, chicken, salads, like the fries, everything, like that's the thing, everything I've tried at Chick-fil-A, there's not one thing that I'm like, I don't like this. That's probably pretty voice. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Um, I actually did not tell the truth in that though. You did get one. Oh, okay. A cad. He says, hey guys, Whew. Chili's his favorite place to go at the airport. See, I think this is maybe because I like versatility for food. If there's a place that I've never heard of at an airport, it's usually the place I'll go try. Really? Yeah. Like, I'm, I actually probably won't go to a Chili's. I'm opposite. If I'm at an airport, I'm not taking any risks. I'm like, get me something I know before this flight so I know I'm good. See, I see this. I have Google, and I'll Google it, right? Where, so I, the only reason why I'm going to say this, because I'm going to use the example when I go to Maryland, because mm -hmm. I have to fly to Maryland because I live in the middle of nowhere. I'll fly into the Maryland airport, and there's, like, restaurants there that are specific to Maryland, but they serve, like, good, like, like I like seafood, like, good seafood. So, like, if I want to get a good, like, crab cake sandwich, like, I don't think I would go, like, you can't Dude, that get that at a Chili's. Right See, now. I love crab cake. So one of the places that the airport that I go to, because it's a uh, oh. Maryland staple, they do, like, crab cake sandwiches or crab cake and a burger. I'm in. P Patriga? I'm in. It's Popeye's, and it's not even close. Popeye's is legit. He said KFC or Popeye's. Oh, Popeye's. Popeye's. I'm with Chugs, though. If I could only eat one fast food spot for the rest of my life, I would go with Chick-fil-A. But it's only because I feel like Chick-fil-A is the only fast food place that I could eat every day and not feel like I'm either A, just getting huge slash, like, I, there's versatility. Yeah. There's versatility. Uh, Kevin Jones. Do you think we could trade Jacobs and the seventh pick for Arizona's number three pick, saving us next year's round one pick and draft capital to make other moves this year? No. You're going to have to throw in at least another third, fourth, fifth. It's just not enough. Like, I know Jacobs is an incredible player, but if you're trading him away, teams know that you're not valuing him that much. So because of that, and because running backs don't go for all that, uh, you're going to have to give up a lot more. That's, that's the unfortunate part. Wrong way. What do you consider overpriced? It's like one – dude, I'm telling you, Shake Shack, you get – if you get – a burger, which I honestly think Shake Shack's burgers, I don't know how you think about it. I think the single patty is small at Shake Shack. Like, if I'm going to Shake Shack, a double is like a normal burger somewhere else. Like, if I'm going to Shake Shack and I get a double burger, fries, and just a drink. I've had Shake Shack twice. Dude, I don't even. Shake Shack, double burger, fries, and a drink. Both times? 17 bucks. I'll say this, the both both of the times that I've had Shake Shack were after one of these shows. So, to be frank, can't give an honest opinion on it. What about <laughs> to, be, to be Mitch? Still can't give an honest opinion on I'm, it. I'm just saying, if I'm paying $17 yeah. for a burger, fries, and drink. It's too much. I don't know. I'd rather have Hop Dotties. That's just me. <laughs> Other people in the office might disagree with me. It What's is, what our special so yeah, we can get this party Patrina, started? It's, it's, like, it's like Five Guys. Too expensive. Five, I think Five Guys is good. It's a solid burger. Okay. But if I'm paying $18 for my meal and it's a burger spot, I'm like, why am I not just going to a steakhouse to get like a nice cheeseburger? I should also mention Wild114 has given his stamp of approval for Sergio. So that's two. That's big. That's two. Honestly, and Chugs will agree with this, Wild One's the hard one to convince. Wild One, I, I look at Wild One as like the treasurer of Mount Raidermore, where, you know, Ron's the, he'll always be the president because he's the OG. Zahn's probably like vice president of Mount Raidermore. And then Wild One's like Zon, the Zon, treasurer. Zahn's he's, like, he's... Zon's like Regina George. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but. 
You've what? never seen the movie Mean Girls? I've seen the movie Mean Girls. Why is she? Why is he Regina George? Because he's the hardest one to impress. You're talking about Wild One? Yes. Oh, okay, I thought you said Zahn. I was like, I don't... Wild One, Wild One takes Mount Ra like he Like, that's his... He loves Mount Raider more. And I'm glad that he does. Like, Wild One's my guy, man. Wild One and Zahn, same standards. So, there John... Here are the deals. So... First time Super Chat, we drink. Every $20 we get, Chugs does a shot, I do a shot. So that's the fireball deal. Because Jermaine Illuminor joined our show, usually $100 is a beer bong. It's going to be $72. But if you still want to be a part of our Boot Hall of Fame, if you send in a $100, we add you to the Boot Hall of Fame. And instead of doing the beer bong, we do a shot fun. That's the deal. It's hot. So, beer bong, shot fun, alcohol content-wise, is the same. <coughs> it's just you will not be on our Boot Hall of Fame. And I'm looking at our Boot Hall of Fame right now. We're almost filled up, Buttercup. <gasps> Wait. Kill a cruising. Kill a. If this is real. We got to get it. Do you, do you have Do you have the number? Oh, wait. Wrong way. I agree with Mitch. I want what? Uh, I want like the a spot, spot in, the city. in the city. I want the place that I've never had before. Do Do you have? That's what I want. Do you have Killer Cruises? Wrong way. We're on the same spot. Uh, Killer. Let me see. Killer, are you gonna call me or are you gonna call Jeremy? If you call me, hit me up on Instagram. Yeah, that's actually probably easier. Cause then, Killer, Dog Bowl right now on IG. Let's get it. Wait, Queen Sarah, she's got to go. Everybody say goodbye to Queen Sarah Otto, the queen of the Raiders report. Goodbye, Queen Sarah Otto. Sarah, much love. Be safe. Have a hell of a weekend. Killa, message me on Instagram. It's the same as my Twitter, at Jeremy Chugs. Just Thank send you, me a PG. message. Just send me a message like, yo, and I'll call you. <laughs> uh, or Killa, just send him sub. But in the meantime. Or you up. Oh. It's that bad. Dude, it's just like, it's not bad, but like, yeah, a little. Not bad, huh? I'm going to see the ortho on Tuesday. Really? Yeah, Tuesday morning. <sighs> Brett told me to tell you. Really? Well, we have our live show on Tuesday, so I'm just going to be, I have the ortho in the morning, and I'm going to come in. You're fine. <laughs> Brett told you to tell me, so I'm going to tell you now. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. To, I, honestly I forgot, forgot to, to tell you earlier, but I'll tell you now. It's fine. We'll make it work. Yeah. I, I, so I got an x-ray. My hand's actually not broken. No bo All the bones intact. I drink milk. Um, my wrist, however, is fucked. Um, I don't know what is wrong with my wrist. <laughs> I got to go get that checked out. It, uh, it well, still hurts. Even my dad's saying goodbye to Queen Sarah Otto. Richie. You're watching. You down to do a shot? What do you got? Are you home? Killa, I have my... Are you at I Mr. Black's house? Killa, I have my IG open. I'm waiting. I mean, we're all waiting at this point. I'm still waiting on Jermaine. I asked, I asked Jermaine. He's got a flight, which according to him is in one hour. So that means boarding time's probably in like 30 minutes. He's cutting it close. Ooh. Actually, Mitch... You will ha like this question more than me because you've been talking about it for the past week. Who's watching the Ryan Garcia fight tomorrow? Dude, I want to. And I'm telling you this right now. I would 100% buy this fight and invite every single one of y'all over. But I actually move tomorrow, which I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a rough it's going to be a rough morning. I'm going to be hungover. I'm going to be moving. So uh, I promised Alex <laughs> that we would move. And Your dad said, I'm doing paperwork. Give me 15 minutes. <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm hoping that Alex and I can do as much moving as possible. Uh, and then we're able to get the fight. But I don't know if she's going to want to. I want to watch it. Though. I'm not saying you have lower standards than Wild One. I'm just saying Wild One is... More, what is the word I'm looking for? He's the tre. I, I don't know how else to put it. Besides, he's like the treasurer. Like, like Zon, you're in our group chats. Wild one is the one that messages everyone more than anyone. 
Like Wild One is more skeptical. If you were to run a fantasy football league, Wild One would be the one that would volunteer to be commissioner. Yes. Like he's he's the one that messages more than anyone. More than anyone. Everyone has the same standards. The only one that probably The standard is the standard. Oh man. What? <laughs> Wild one and Zahn are just going back and forth in our Mount Raidermore chat. Ron's like the grandpa, where he's just like, he's like, if you guys are good, I'm good. Like, <laughs> which I respect. Tony. I Sup, Mitch. If the Raiders trade back their seventh pick and get another second round draft pick, would you take Hendon Hooker? Here's the thing. I Tony. think he might go into, I think he might go pick, I think somebody's going to trade up. Go either pick 28, 29, 30, 31, and get Hinden. The more and more I watch rumors, the more and more people I talk to, the more and more reports that I see, I it would not surprise me if Hooker actually does, like what Chuck says, go in, go in round one. However, I am just team, let's get a freaking defense. Like, there's not a quarterback in this year's draft that I would say I love. Like, I like a lot of quarterbacks. I like Bryce Young. I like C.J. Stroud. But to me, I think long picture, and if the Raiders realistically build a hell of a defense in this year's draft, okay, and then you're like, no matter what, if we got to waste, I don't even want to use the word waste, if we want to use a 2025, 2026 first round pick and go up and get a Caleb Williams or go up and get a Drake May, I'm okay with that if you can build a defense this year. Because what I don't want the Raiders to do is go get a Hendon Hooker and then say, okay, well, we drafted Hendon Hooker. What if the Raiders are in the same spot they are last year? You have the number seven overall pick. If you have the number seven overall pick and you're saying we're not going to go try to go get Caleb Williams or Drake May because we have Hendon Hooker, that's dumb. It's dumb. So for that reason, I would rather the Raiders, if they did this scenario, defense, defense, and then if you wanted to go away from defense with that other pick early in the second round, go with offensive line. Build in the trenches. That's how I would go about it, Tony. All right, I'm getting... I'll be honest. I just got a FaceTime video. Do I answer it? Go for it. I think it's... I'm going to guess it's Killa. It's Killa. <laughs> What's up, Killa? All right. All right. I don't know what he has. So Ch I'm going to hand you to Chugs. That way everyone can see you. To Chugs. He's got a giant casino chip. Oh. Bet on black. Always go with black. That's pretty lit. All right, Killa. I don't know how you're about to do this dog bowl. You have. He's got a dog oh, bowl. Oh, he's got one. <laughs> I think this is the same dog bowl I have for Chuck. Let's go. Pour it up, pour it up. Watch it all fall out. Oh. What is it? It's Tropical Chamoy Michelada. What's the who, what's the maker? Um, I actually did not see. So the other day when Alex and I got some drinks, I bought a whole bunch of Chamoy. Oh. They were like beers. They were yeah. really good. <laughs> Killa, let's go. His poor dog is sitting there like, what's up with, why are you drinking out of my bowl, man? Hey, that, that, I, that's my ball. I can't even imagine. If I did that with Chuck, he'd be one ticked off dude. <laughs> Everybody spam Killa cruising in the chat. Killa, 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 Killa. Man oh! of his word. Petey, you started a movement. It's the dog ball revolution. Let's go. The Raider dog ball. Dog ball, dog ball. Dog ball, dog ball, kill a cruise it. Meh, 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 meh. I'm gonna give him to you, Mitch. Oh, kill a, my man. Dude, I'll tell you what. I might have to go get myself a dog ball. I might have to go get myself a dog ball. For those that don't know, kill a actually is top 10 all time for one of the highest supers Venmo's ever sent in. 
on the Raiders report. He did it this past season. So, everybody shout out to Killa. And if anybody's got a dog, or I guess even a cat at this point, you want to do your own dog bowl or cat bowl, hit me up, Instagram P or Twitter. Petey started a movement. Hit up Jeremy. Oh, he's even got his dog right now. It's so cute. Here. Oh, he's such a good boy. Or girl. I don't know. Oh. Is that a German? Is that German? <laughs> He's like, I think she's mad at me because I used her bowl. Oh, wow. You took it like a champ, though. Hey, rep it. That hat's lit. That's not the new draft hat, is it? No, that's 2020. Yeah, it's, that's old. It's that's an dope. oldie, but a goodie. That's dope. Killa, much love to you, my brother. It kind of looked like the new one. Let's go. <laughs> hey, he's about to start a movement. If you want to chug a beer out of a dog bowl, you let us know. Petey, you started a movement. Somebody just called in with a dog bowl. We just had someone chug a beer out of a dog bowl. Do we, do we start selling Raiders dog bowls? I'll tell you what. They're already, most of them are already silver. <laughs> We got something. <laughs> oh, my God. Wrong way. You're next up. Which burger at Whataburger are you comparing to In-N-Out? I need to know for my next visit. So I have two for you. I know Mitch has his favorite. You want to go with yours? See, my favorite burger from Whataburger oh, is the Mushroom Swiss, which they don't have anything like that. It's seasonal. I got two for you. First one, if it's during lunch or dinner, it's the patty melt. Patty melt. Either if you don't like Texas toast, you can get it with a regular bun. Yeah. But I like the patty melt. If it's late at night or morning time, get the breakfast burger. It comes with hash browns, bacon, and egg on there. Spicy ketchup. I put spicy ketchup on it. Dude, it is so good. You know what's even a better move than the patty melt? And I like the patty melt, but it's to get one of their other burgers, but sub in. Texas Toast Bar. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a move. Dude, yeah. Patty melt, breakfast burger. Those are my... You've had the breakfast burger. Oh. Well, the... Uh, See, I like the sweet and spicy. The, the sauce they put on that... Uh, whatever pepper, uh, oh, the creamy pepper jack? Pepper. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Super chat coming in from Alacron's Gaming. Thoughts on Dave Ziegler's press conference? I mean, overall... It's one of those things where um, I don't think we learned a lot from it. I would say, and this yeah. is the simplest answer I can give you. It's probably also the worst answer I can give you. Anything's on the table at pick number seven. Like, from what I, from what I heard oh. from Ziegler, it was they're going to go with the player that they believe helps this, them the most. This is prime smokescreen season. Yeah, I mean. I really don't believe – the Colts have Will Levis ahead of C.J. Stroud on their board. I don't believe it either, but Ziegler, when he was talking today, they were like, what are you going to do at pick number seven? And it's, you know, the same old coach speak, GM speak. We're going to go with a player that we believe helps out our football team the most. Like, yeah. that's what it was. It was everything's on the table. Nothing is crossed off. If anything, if, if I wanted to spin it as a rumor, which – you know, that's kind of what we do sometimes. I would say that there was a report out there that Jalen Carter was crossed off of their big board. I would say from hearing from Ziegler, from him saying, like, what he did, anything's on the table, that Carter wasn't crossed off. Like, if you want to take a rumor, and that's really taking what Ziegler said out of context into something, that's what you could do. But from what I understood, anything is on the table when it comes to Dave Ziegler and when it comes to Josh McDaniels. So, all right, y'all, we are still live here on the Raiders Report. I told Jermaine when he's ready to come back on the show, he can. My question to all of you out there is, since we already interviewed Jermaine Illuminor, what position will Illuminor play this upcoming season? Is he going to play right tackle, or do you think he's going to play right guard? Let me know down in the comments section. Also, Jeremy, because I'm a, I'm a man who 
likes deals. I'm a man who likes deals. On YouTube, we are 165 away from hitting a big-time number, okay? My deal to all of you out there is since Petey drank out of a bowl, since Killer Cruisin' drank out of a bowl, if we get to 165, I don't... I don't think I've ever drank out of a dog bowl. Not to my recollection. I'm going to drink out of a dog bowl. We're going to pour it up. I'm going to put two beers in that dog bowl, and we're going to knock it down. We are 165 away. That is the number. <laughs> we got 300 people watching. A lot of right guards. PG2869 says right guard. Martin, right tackle. Patriga says right tackle. Husker Raiders going to go with right tackle. When I talked to Jermaine this offseason, he told me that he wants to play right tackle. You all right? Yeah, maybe just reset it up, see if he's trying to get in. I messaged him, so if you're good on your end, I just okay. Fair enough. Mike RT Hellcat RT. However, though, there is a part of me that wonders: Will the Raiders be better off with Illuminor at right guard? Because no disrespect to Illuminor. He said Alex Bars at right guard. If that's the option, I'd rather you kick in Jermaine at right guard. I'll tell you that. I Alex Bars cannot be a starter in the NFL. If he is, you got a bad offensive line. Can't happen. Can't happen. We are 10 likes away from 500. Can we get 10 more likes? We got 315 people tuned in right now here. On the Raiders report, our deals, Jeremy. I want to switch up the happy hour deal. Happy hour deal is this. Every super chat is a drink. No matter what. If it's one dollar, two, five, bigger the super chat, the longer I'm gonna drink for. Every twenty dollars, Chugs and I both will take a fireball shot because Jermaine Illuminor joined the show. 72 for a beer bong, hundred for the Boot Hall of Fame, and then a shot fun. That's the deal. That is our Raiders Report Hall of Fame. Happy hour special. I wish I could. My problem is I sometimes get worried if I make deals lower because then you get crazy people like Sergio Orozco, today's MVP, David Zahn, other people who tune in, and then my whole day gets effed up. And then everything gets effed up. So we are 165 away from doing a dog bowl. 165 away from a dog bowl. What position do you not want the Raiders to pick in round one? This is a good question. I mean, honest opinion. Uh, excluding kickers. Running back, wide receiver. Tight end. If that were to happen... I'd be mad. We got a couple quarterbacks in there. I think it depends. Like, you know, I don't love C.J. Stroud, but if Stroud's there at seven, that's where this conversation changes. Unless, unless oh, my goodness. the Raiders get an unbelievable deal on the table and they're willing to trade back. Like, that's when it changes. I think, like, that's where this absolutely changes. Random production says center, which I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't think there's going to be a center that goes that high. But yep. I hear you. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, he's just on. Dude, I mean, he's Sergio's just, on a whole other level today. He's just taking this to the next level. I'll tell you what, this reminds me of when Podcast said, I want to get on Mount Raider more. And Podcast for like a month and a half straight was just like, I'm going to get on Mount Raider more. 
And this guy, he's making himself a hell of a case. I know that. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, he's making a hell of a case for himself. If you guys don't already know, today's MVP is Sergio. And? It's not close. It's, it's not even close. So, everybody, shout it out with me. This one's coming in from Sergio Orozco. Bang! I'll tell you what, man. Sergio, Sergio, Sergio. Rufio, Rufio. Sergio has already donated a Raiders jersey, which is insane to me. He is in contention for Mount Raider Moore. It is being discussed by the nation right now. And Sergio, I'll tell you this. You got my vote. You got Wild One's vote. You got David Zahn's vote. Okay. The next big vote that you need to get is Raider Ron. And that's not a disrespect to Trivan podcast. I'm sure every Mount Raider Moore member would say, if you can get Raider Ron's vote, you're uh, it's looking pretty good. Haven't heard anything yet from Jermaine Illuminor. We're uh, we're waiting for him. Again, he's he's at the airport right now. So, TSA? huh? TSA? Uh, it sounds like Jermaine is a big last minute guy when it comes to flights. Like, if it comes to a flight, we're gonna do two trulies. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, it's I can't get this open. Oh. We'll see, but. Raider Ron, I think Zahn, right now Zahn is the only Mount Raider more member we have here. I think Zahn would agree because Zahn is, Raider Ron's here? Raider Ron is here. So, scroll, scroll up in the chat. hang on, let me scroll up. All right, I mean, I how did I miss, Ron? oh, Ron's here. Sergio Eyeballs. Okay. Ron Eyeballs. I just looked at our group chat. Yeah. Ron, uh, Ron said Sergio has his vote. That's a big one. That one carries probably the most weight, and that's just because Ron and Zom were like the first two. Right? Like, it, it's like that's what it comes down to. This show, when it first started. Those were the first two. Like, Ron and Zahn were throwing hundreds when we had, like, 20, 30 people watching live at points. Like, it was it was a different time. So, you got to you gotta respect the goats. I don't, think, I don't think Zahn sent in a Venmo. I think he's just simply saying he's looking at Sergio right now. Here's the thing. I don't know if this can hold two beers. It's going to be close. You, you can try. Dude. I still got more in this one. Hang on. There we go. Be careful, I see a little spillage. Um, yes, on that side. Wow, that's that's impressive right there. And and Mitch, uh, very impressive. Very impressive. Also, we got the grandfather, the OG goat in the chat. When Raider Ron steps in the chat, 
I want all y'all to show Ron some love because if it wasn't for Ron, we wouldn't be where we are today. And there you go. David's on showing some love. <sighs> Dude, this is getting out of hand. Same one? No. Wait. wait All I, right, so Sergio. So wait, this is my this is my favorite game. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you're not gonna get it. This? It's a, it's an it's a weird number. Wait, is it? All right, Ron and Zon. Not quite. Ron and Zon, your two Mount Raider Moore members. I got I got the okay from Zon, Ron, and Wild One. Everybody watching the show right now. Uh, Ron and Zahn, what number do Sergio, what number does Sergio need to hit today to be a member of Mount Raider more? So just hang on a second. He is already sent in two plus, hang on, just everyone, me hang on. Message me the newest one. I will. Wow. All right. Um, I mean, this is. Uh, you got it. You got this. I mean. All right. So. Sergio. 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 Sergio from Raider. Run. Bang. All right, so here's how much Sergio. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got to do the math. So Sergio so far till this show has donated 730. 730. Wait, is that including? No, not including what you know. So Ron and Zahn, he's already put in 730 on this show. What does he got to get to to get to Mount Wait, Raider did, more? That's did, up to you. Did that include his first super chat? Yes. It includes the supers, Venmos. It does not include what's on that screen. Oh, wow. Ron just sent in a one hundo. Mm -hmm. I mean, what this is... <laughs> Dog <wolf. laughs> I was like, broccoli? Yeah, no. <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I can't tell if this is Happy Dad or Truly or when this was from. There's still beer in here. Sergio. 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 Uh. Sergio. Sergio. This one's rolling in from Sergio Orozco. Bang! So, David Zahn just said, the only way to get on Mount Raider more for Sergio today, and Ron, if you agree, he said 1G, which means Sergio now is 70 away. I'll tell you this right now. You donated the jersey today. That's a huge, huge thing to do for Mount Raider more. What you have done... Over the last two, three months, your loyalty to the show for a long time, your loyalty to Raider Nation, the fact that you got Raider Ron and Zon's vote, that's huge. The fact that you got Wild 114's votes, that's huge. So I'm going to tell you all right now, if Sergio sends in a $70 Venmo or Super Chat, he's on Mount Raider more. Our seventh member. I didn't think it was going to happen in the next, like, year. I, I, I literally, Chugs the other day asked me, he's like, do you think, excuse me, once we had a Borelli, that was number six. 
I was like, honestly, man, I don't think anyone else is going to be there. Sergio's name got brought up. Um, trying to think who else got brought up. I know Fat Bearded Dad probably a few months ago got brought up. Where is Borelli? Borelli's, he's working, man. All right. I am uh, proud to announce, and I want all y'all right now. Can we, can, we, can, we, can we start like low, like a whisper, and then kind of build up to it? How do you want to do it? Sergio. 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 Orozco. Our newest let him in member let him in of Mount let him in Raider Moore Sergio Sergio bang a ring Sergio 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 let's Go! The newest member of Mount Raider Moore, Sergio Orozco. All right, Sergio, the next thing I need from you is, Sergio, message me on Instagram real quick here, if you could, because I'm going to add you to our group chat. Because I don't know if I see it on IG. So, Sergio, if you could message me. Hang on a second. What did Ron say? <laughs> or Zon. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Zon, what'd you do? <laughs> All right, hang on. All right, actually, Woo! I'm not going to lie to you. I F this up. This is on me. Sergio. Whoa. <laughs> Sergio. Whoa. Barbecue? All right, Zon. Zon, I'm going to ask honey. you this. Zon. Honey heat? So. Honey, honey. <sighs> huh? Huh? Sticky, sticky. Zon, I'll do an extra <laughs> beer bong for your Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> Zon, are you? If I do an extra, uh, we're we're. Uh, if I do an Zoom. extra beer bong for your Venmo, does that count? All right. So I actually effed up. I got two Venmos at the exact same time. So David Zon sent in a seventy dollar Venmo to cover Sergio. So Zon said, "I want to pay." For Sergio Orozco to get on Mount Raider Moore, he sent in a 70. Like, that's what Mount Raider Moore does. So, Sergio is a member and he needs a boot now. I didn't get the Sergio number right. The Sergio number I gave you was wrong. Call Mitchell so, Rins. Sergio. 877 boot now. That's on me, Sergio. Like, I got your number wrong. What? I don't know what you. So, here's what we got to do. We're going to show Zahn's number. David Zahn, a 70. He's going to get you an extra beer ball. Mm, mm, but Sergio sent in a $100 super chat instead of 70. Which means we get the bang. So, we're going to bang. We're going to bang. Sergio Orozco Bang! Another 
Bangarang for Mr. Sergio Orozco. Bangarang! So, this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to do a boot for Sergio becoming a member of Mount Raider more. When we do this show... That's hot. Anytime we get a new member from Mount Raider Moore, I'm going to do a boot in their honor. Um, I'll tell you this right now. Did not expect. Sergio, you're Mount Raider Moore, man. Anytime you want to come hey, to Dallas, you let me know. Rebel, everybody, if you know the number, put it in the chat. If you know the number, put it in the chat. He's added to Mount Raider Moore, and he needs a boot now. Call Mitchell Renz. Boot now! <laughs> <laughs> can you bring the fam? Uh, Sergio, you can bring your Mount Raider more, man. You can bring whoever you want. I think the only thing is, if you bring the fam, because of the building that we are in... We'll, have to, we'll just meet you at a bar. If I'm being honest with you, okay, Sergio, because of the building that we're in, um, you have to go through a lot of security clearance. So... Personally, I would say we would have a better time if you came to Dallas. Like, let's just go out for like a night. Like, it'll be treated by chat sports. It's all good. Like, you don't got to worry about anything like that. It's, uh, if you personally just wanted to come on the Raiders report, it would be a lot easier just because but of all the security. If you want to bring your do. fam, we got some spots down here. Definitely love to have you out here. Go grab a couple brewskis. Yeah, I mean, you can you come down to Dallas, Sergio. If you come down to Dallas, you can 100%, you personally can come on the Raiders report. That's not a problem. Not not even a problem in the slightest. And then afterwards, we'll have a few drinks with the nation, have a good time, and then we'll take your family out for dinner and we'll treat them well. I don't know, man. All right, uh, Illuminor actually literally just messaged me, and he said, I'm good now. All right, tell, tell, tell him to hop on. I, we got it all set. All right, so I want to continue to celebrate him. Oh, but, Sergio, give me a second here. I'm trying to get Illuminor back on the stream here. Where's Jack? Is Jack out there? Yeah, Jack's out there. So he said he's got about 20 minutes before his flight boards. Perfect. We have some questions from locals for him to answer. And then I have one important beans and toast question to ask him. <laughs> so we're going to ask him some questions here. But Sergio, I mean, we're going to treat you. Hmm? May, I'm, I'm, I might put stuff in a, in a cut, but I'm not going to. No. He's going to be at the airport, so it's going to be hard. to. No, no. I think it's just let's just ask some questions. I sent him the Zoom link. He should be good. Uh, no, but no, seriously, Sergio, you're you're Mount Rainer Moore member now. We'll we'll take care of you. We got we got we got a company here, so we I can have we can help out. a structured out. settlement, and I need cash now. You come to Dallas, we got you. Call bro. Mitchell like, Rins. Food, drinks, we'll we'll take care of you. I got you. Eight seven seven boot now. All right. Um. I know, I'm trying to, if Zahn, I see you talking right now in the chat. Um, if, if one of y'all can add him, one of you guys available, I'll make, I'll make myself available. You just got to give me the date. So if you message me on IG, Sergio, I can add you to our group chat. And then that makes it a lot easier for me to be able to, all right, I got him here. Hang on, Sergio. Just sent you a um, friend request on IG. I got to add you to my primary here. Um, all right, hang on. I'm going to add you to the group chat. You should probably change your first name because it's... How do you add... We have them? Yeah. Okay. 
So, Sergio, if you can be patient with me here, man. We got Jermaine Illuminor on the line. I think I got it. Okay. Alrighty. I just got... All right, Sergio, you are now in our Mount Raidermore group chat, so you can talk to those guys, and we'll be able to figure out what dates work best for me and for everyone. All righty. Cool. All right, it sounds like we got Jermaine Illuminor back on the line. I, how do I pin him again? Uh, so I hear Jermaine, our, Jeremy, and oh, our other producer, they're working out some logistics oh, okay, right cool. now to get him back here pin. on Sweet. the show. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to ask Jermaine some more questions, and then if you guys, if we have time, want to yeah. ask him questions, we can do that as well. But he's at the airport right now, getting ready to hop on a flight. So we got about 15 minutes or so, depending on when the boarding time is. I mean, we've all been in the airport. It could happen in 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, 25. I don't know the exact time. But we do have Jermaine Illuminor back here on the line. Shout out to Sergio, man. Absolute goat shit. Yeah. Cool. I can hear him in the background. Okay. I got to add a few more people to this boot hall of fame. I got to do a boot for Sergio yet. Let me do... Let me try this. What do you got for me? Okay. That might be better. Better? If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more videos around there the Raiders. And please start spamming 72 for Jermaine Illuminor. He was already on the show earlier today. Oh, Answer some sure. questions. That'll just be easier. Answer some questions from right. Jermaine Illuminor. Start spamming 72. Jermaine, show the Raiders. Can you, can you hear? Oh, wait. No, I got to unmute us now. Show the Raiders starting right, right. tackle. Jermaine. Jermaine's Yo. got that lead. All right, we got you now. We got Jermaine. What's okay, up, perfect. Jermaine? Jermaine! Yo. You're back. What is good? Hopefully. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure this. You're all right. I'm trying to figure my phone out right now. We got you. Hopefully, you got more clothes on at the airport than you did in the sauna. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing a sweatshirt, so I mean that's that's good enough, I guess. I was just just I was, a sweatshirt, that's it. I was actually just about to say. I got a, actually, Jermaine, I wanted to do this. Hold on one second. See, I can't even I can't even see y'all right now. I see Jeremy, and that's about it. There we go. I see. All it. right, now we're even. Right. Now, now we're even. <laughs> it's perfect. So, Jermaine, before we get to some more fan questions, I have an important one for you. Let's do it. All right. Obviously, we talked about earlier. You spent some time in London. Huge debate uh -huh. here. First of all, have you had beans on toast? 100%. Is that, if you ask an Englishman that and they say they haven't, then they aren't English at all. And that is, I don't know if I can guess on this train. That is, oh my, wait, my parents are watching this, so I can't, I can't pass it. Um, What's up, parents? That is BS if they have not had that. Yeah, my parents are watching this. Oh, okay. Be That's what's up. Better breakfast. American breakfast, English breakfast. American. Is that even. I'm not trying to offend my fellow Americans, but American breakfast is not that good at all. Wow. Jermaine, it's come on, that. man. Okay, okay, okay. describe hey. your typical American breakfast. Pancakes, no. eggs, hash browns, and uh, bacon or sausage. Jermaine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got to be real to you. If you like English breakfast, if you like beans on toast... I love beans on toast. Beans, beans <laughs> toast, bacon, scrambled eggs, and some people like the whole blood like, sausage, like sliced tomato. No, um, you can't do blood sausage. Gross. Like, no. like blood sausage. I don't like blood sausage. Like Good. some okay. mushrooms. I hate mushrooms, but I think I, it's still way better than American. Breakfast. I have to say this: we have a huge fan in the chat. His name is Martin. All the, he he actually uh -huh. lives in England. Uh -huh. He yes. is so hyped right now. Yes. Really. Yes. Huge Raider fan from England. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out my phone because I want to see Mitch for some reason. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. I, I, I changed the view. I'm sorry. You can only oh, see okay, me. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Well, I, I, was seeing, I was seeing if you joined him and took your shirt off, too. I was like, I mean, I don't know if I can do that in a public setting. But, <laughs> you know. All right. So we, Honestly, for the Raiders' sake, please don't take off your shirt because the last thing I need is 
<laughs> Raiders player suspended because he took his shirt off for this show. I mean, that's the last I, thing I, I, I need. You. We right, do so, have some fan questions. Mitch, if you want to read them to him. I got you some questions right Let's here. So this it. is uh, coming in from one of the legends here on this show. His name is Wild114. He said, with the team's apparent lack of success last season, have you done or do you plan to do anything different or extra during the offseason to prepare for this upcoming season? I would say that everyone in the building is taking a different approach to this season. They are, we're, we're all working harder. We're all trying to get the, like, the system down better. I mean, you can just see from the few clips that we've had um, from them showing a little workouts this week. You know, it's a different intensity and we're just trying to be better. It's, it's um, I think the biggest thing is to play. You have to be able to <clears throat> just cancel out the last year. It doesn't matter if you won the Super Bowl. It doesn't matter if you win. One in 16, right? You, it's a brand new fresh start. Everyone's at the bottom of the mountain and we're trying to climb up to the peak. So, you know, everyone's the same right now. And the people may not agree with me when I say that, but we're all in the same place. We're all just starting to work out again. And no one's going to win Super Bowl in April, you know, but you can work harder and um, you can work as hard as you possibly can and do what you need to do in order to be ready for training camp and be ready for the season. But, you know, everyone's just going to work as hard as they can right now to be ready for that. All right, this next question coming in from Lord Buddy Bear. Being one of the players who blocked for the league leader, Rusher, do you see Josh Jacobs getting another rushing title this year? I would say that we're going to do everything we can to open up holes for him. And Josh, like I said before, Josh is the best running back in the NFL. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him get that again or even more, honestly. Knowing him, his mentality, he wants to – Break every single record there is, and he wants to be the best. So not just running back, but player in the NFL. So, you know, like I said, the scouts and and even that, he can go even higher than that. So, you know, we're gonna do everything we can to help him be the best player he can be this year. All right, we got one coming in from Fiaz. He says, "Who will be the leader in the locker room this offense um, since Carr is gone?" So a lot of people thought Carr was the leader. Who's gonna be the leader this season on offense in the locker room? Um, I think I'm pretty easy. I'll say I'm. I'm gonna say Jimmy G. I've had a chance to speak to him a couple of times. He, you can see the type of guy he is, and everyone's really excited to play with him and have him in the building. I'll say Colin Miller is gonna be a real big leader in that room too, or that locker room as well. Just because the type of guy he is, he's one of the best left tackles in the NFL, and everyone respects him because of what he does in the field, what he does off the field, and the work he puts in. And then also Devontae, of course, you know the best shooter in the NFL. He's always going to be a leader. Um, if I had to choose a surprising one that not a lot of people would think about, I would say, well, it's not really truly surprising. I would say that not a lot of people think that he is a leader. Well, just because you don't really hear too much from him, I would say Andre James, our center. I think he's one of the better centers in the NFL. And, um, you know, the, if y'all would have known what was on his plate last year, learning this offense from scratch, like he makes our offense go. And, you know, he is one of the centerpieces of this offense. So I think he's going to be a big-time leader as well. All right. I have a super random question more just for the Raiders uh, report viewers. Would you ever eat corn the long way? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if I would. Well, you know, I've seen a couple of um, – I've seen a couple of videos on TikTok, people actually eating the whole corn. I don't know, you know, and maybe some people like that. So I almost feel me like myself, eating baby corn's that. weirder, honestly. If somebody were to ask me that, I feel like eating baby corn's just kind of weirder. My next question to you is this. Um, I see one coming in from Shaxer, but before I get to that, last season I took down Jonathan Hankins in a competitive burger-eating contest where – I think I ate probably four pounds of burgers in, I think it was like 10 minutes, okay? My mm -hmm. question to you is this. This year, this off season, if I challenged you to a competitive wing eating contest in Las Vegas at a, at a spot that I already know, my buddy, he's got a spot, it's called Barcode Burgers, great burgers, but they also have wings. If we did it 100% for charity, and either you pick the charity or I pick the charity, would you take me on in a competitive wing like, eating contest? So, um, my junior year in, um, I was actually won a Tennessee hot chicken strip 
the contest at the bowl game. So, you know, I'm pretty familiar when it comes to the eating contest. So, okay. And look, if you think, if you think you can hang with the big dogs and I'm, I'm there. Here's the thing. Uh, I respect your game on the field, but, uh, I've never lost in a competitive eating contest. So with that being said, I officially challenge you. We'll find a date. Competitive wing eating contest. You versus me in Las Vegas at Barcode Burgers, the name of the spot, for charity. Yes or no? Let's do it. I'm down. All right. You guys heard it here. Jermaine Illuminor has decided to lose to me in a competitive wing eating competition for charity. Shout out to Jermaine. Let's go to Shaxter. With all the moves and changes going on, where do you see the Raiders finishing this season? Uh, I would say that we're going to finish as good as we play. I'm not one to make predictions, and I don't think you would find any pro that would want to answer that question. I think that as a fan, you want players to predict how good they're going to be. I think that as a player, you can't fall into that trap because then you can make predictions and then, or you know, like next thing you know, there's headlines saying, oh, Raiders player said this, and people take what you say out of context. So I would say that we're going to finish out, like, we're going to finish with the record that we earn. And by that, I mean that if we go out there and do what we need to do, then, like I said, we're going to finish out, like, finish our record with what we earn this year. And we're going to do everything we can to make sure we earn as much as we can this season. So you guys heard it. Jermaine Illuminor just said the Raiders are going to finish 17-0. and 0. Let's go to this next one coming in here from Aggress. So, Jermaine, I want you to hear this name. This is a name on YouTube. His name is Aggressive Master Raider. What is the funniest nickname in the locker room? Pretty creative, room? man. It's, so this name, and then there's another name. It's called My Vibe Raider. Top two names on my channel. Nickname in the locker room. What's the funniest nickname in the locker room and why? See, I don't know if we truly have nicknames in the locker room. Like, when I was back in the wing with Cam, he would have a nickname for everyone. And I, I don't like saying that, but Cam used to call me Uncle Phil because there will be, be times where I'll come in without a haircut. <laughs> and, um, you know, I don't – my hair stopped growing I love for that. a little bit. And, you know, Cam is real creative. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm bald 24-7 now because I hate those references. Like I said, Uncle Phil is a great guy. Honor to be called Uncle Phil, but I'll, I'll probably say that if I'm being honest with you. Okay. I don't know too many guys with nicknames in the locker room. I love it, though. I mean, First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. <laughs> For real? <laughs> no, dude, I mean, that's cool. That's uh, that's the insider info that I want. Now, this next guy, I got to be honest with you, Jermaine. He doesn't F around. So, hey, Jermaine Illuminor. Great season last season. It's coming in from James Lillard. I know you're a true tackle. But I've seen the success at guard as well. Which do you prefer, tackle or guard? I'd say that whichever position I played more last year is the position I prefer. But if I have to do something, and like I said, I'm a, I do what I need to do to help this team win. So, as, like I said, as long as I'm starting, that's all I care about. Okay, I like I that answer. All right, we got a few more questions for Jermaine Illuminor, who is at the airport. So, if you send in a super, I will do my best to get it up on screen. This one's coming in from PG2869. Do you think the O-line can protect a limited mobility quarterback like Jimmy Garoppolo? I don't know where you get limited from. I've seen the tape of that man running around. You know, you got you to understand. Can you beat him no... in a race? I mean, I I would hope not. You know, I've never seen like <laughs> me too. I don't look. I'm if this is prime Jermaine Luminor, which I am right now. Okay. I mean, like you know, pre combine Jermaine, and I'm one of the fastest players on the team. I'm just saying, you know, but line right up, now I, I'm up. probably like mid four six four seven. So I you know I guess we'll see. All right, so Jermaine, times. my next question is: Last season, when I asked Jonathan Hankins if he would tackle me as hard as he can. He said no. My next question to you is this. Would you allow me to try to pass rush on you on our Vegas competition? And you can beat I mean, me up as bad as you want. I, I don't mean, mind. It may, it as long as I can appetite, record it. Though, that's the thing. What's up? It may ruin your appetite. I mean, <laughs> it's a Got great him! answer. I'll tell you this right now. 
One of my buddies is a. Uh, He's in the NFL, and he ex totally exposed me, right? Because everybody out there thinks, oh, I can do that. Uh -huh. I, would, I would love to go up against you for the simple fact of I wish at the, of the, at the Olympics that they would have a normal guy up against Olympic athletes just to show how incredible that they are. So if you're Oh, down, you know what I wish? I wish that they had 11-on-11 11 11 tackle football. But some fans, I think that they could do what we did. <laughs> like what we do, and you see like all star game like that. You want like if you want any people to watch the Pro Bowl, new fans versus players. Okay, I bet you that would get. Hey, I'll tell you this views. right now. If you want to get that trend started, you want to get that trend started. Me against you, and I'll do it. I'll go as hard as I can, giggity. But I need you to do the exact same. And, and then I'll block Max Crosby. So, oh, dude, we're in. Uh, we're in. Me and Max. I don't. I don't know if Max. See, Max only knows one speed, so he's probably going. To Okay. Yeah, I talked to Max's parents last weekend, Good. and Max scares me. But, Jermaine, do you remember the rule we had before? If we get a $100 super chat, I don't know if it's a smart thing to do in the airport. Yeah, I don't know if I can say those exact words. I don't want you to say those exact words at the airport. Can you whisper it? All right, how about this? This one's coming in from Rebel Montana. Say that one more time. You broke up a little bit. All right. This one's coming in from Rebel Montana. We got a $100 super chat. Bang. Bang. I don't want you to say it. Mr. Illuminor, can you give a shout out to my friends Kat, Marianne, Phoenix, Ryan, and Connor? So we got Kat. Marianne, Phoenix, Ryan, and Connor. So it's Kat, Marianne, Phoenix, Ryan or Rhino? Ryan and Connor. Shout out to Pat, Ryan, Phoenix, and Connor. Did I forget anyone? And then Marianne. And Marianne. Appreciate y'all watching. The only question the that they have is this. Waterburger or In-N-Out? Yeah, last name of the question. In-N-Out is trash. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! In-N-Out is so trash. It's literally... Bro, like, oh, you're going to upset so a lot of people. Waterburger... Whataburger destroys. That's like putting LeBron against freaking Pat Bev. No. Yeah, Pat, <laughs> not even Pat Bev. Dylan like, Brooks. In and out. In and out is like the G League. Yes. And Whataburger is an all star. I'm like, gonna Jermaine, tell you this right now. In and you're gonna, you're so gonna wreck some people, Jermaine. And I, and I said this before you came on. You're gonna not, wreck some not, people. Not just because you're coming on the show, but I said you're my favorite NFL player of all time. Not because you came on the show or anything. Just because I have that much respect for you. You just doubled it with that answer. <laughs> I mean, in, like literally, if you go to In and Out, we'll probably one of those Cali people like, oh, I go to In and Out, so I'm better than you. Not In and Out's trash. Yes. Give me a like, I've, been, I've been there before too. Even though it's what? Even like the secret menu, that's even more trash. Like those secret yes. menu fries, it's disgusting. Yes. Disgusting. So Give we me actually, a patty melt, onion rings, and spicy ketchup, it's over. We actually did oh, a, a challenge on this show because I said, we said In and Out's overrated. I mean, it's still like, if it's like a drunk food, like I'll take it. However, we did a food uh -huh. review on In and Out. So I'm just telling you right now, you're stepping on some toes here <laughs> hey. for Raider Nation. That's fine. Jermaine, Those you're, are you're, toes you're I want to step on if they like in and out. <laughs> you're, you're the man. All right, we got another question it's coming in here saying. from Arbra. Who is the best player that you have ever gone up against? Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett? That was a quick answer, too. I mean, it's pretty – I think I think him and Max All are right, too My next question is this. So. Miles Garrett or Max Crosby? See, that's just two different players. That's the thing. Like, okay. Max is like, they both have motors. <sighs> I'm going to put you on in the spot. In what scenario? Like, are you, are you asking, like, as, like, a, like, in what scenario? Let's say it's third down. Uh, nah, nah, you know what? You know what? I'll take Max over anyone. Okay. That's a good answer. I'm glad you did that, Jermaine. Because with the in and I'll out take, take, I'll take Max over anyone. Okay. Max is my guy as well. So, Max is actually the first ever Raiders player that reached out to me. When we were on Hard Knocks, I said, Max, anytime you want to come on the show, you can come on the show. And then, uh, you know, rest, rest is history. Got one rolling in here from Husker Raider. Are there any issues you see in the offensive line room that need to be addressed by players or coaches? You know, I think that we got enough talent in there to be a great unit. And okay. I think that that's what we're striving. No, I think I know that we're, that's what we're striving for last year. 
I know that a lot of people weren't expecting much from us last year, and you know we went out there and just played our asses off. Um, I agree. I don't think there's any holes. I don't think there's any like um, pieces that need to be filled. Obviously, they're going to bring people in the draft, and if they end up helping us, they end up helping us. Cool. I I respect that. Let's, last question here that I have so far: Do you have any plans to help lessen the timely penalties that you had last season? Also. Can you unblock me on Twitter? I'm nice. Seriously. My name is Aaron uh, DeVandre. Someone is personally trying to smack them. Instead of me trying to embarrass them, I just block them. But now, I'm like, you know what? If someone's trying to say something, doesn't matter if it's a little media member or a fan, I'm just going I'm to I'm respond in the most respectful, disrespectful, and funny way possible. Because there's a couple media writers out there that, you know, don't want to look at me in the locker room, but like to talk a bunch of smack on Twitter. <laughs> But then as soon as I say something back to them, they want to act like they didn't say nothing. But um, <laughs> who, who was that that went through that block them? That's why I want to know. So his, name, so his name is Aaron, and if you go back and you watch this show, uh, you can see his exact handle because he put it in there. And he sent me a screenshot asking, can you ask Jermaine to unblock me? So his name is Aaron <laughs> Devandre. I also say this. He's actually one of the most nicest people that we have on this show, but it's up to you. What's his handle? His, his handle is at Aaron Devandre. So Aaron is A-A-R-O-N, and then it is D-E-V, and I think it's going to pop up then. <laughs> Can you send it to me on Twitter? And I'll, um, it for you. I'll send yeah, it to you on you. Twitter, and then that way you can unblock them. Or you can just keep them blocked. That's up to you. But it sounds like you got a flight to catch. Oh, Jermaine, one more question if you have yeah, time. Yeah, we bust our border. One more right, question. I got time for one more. One right. more. You got to kill one, marry one, and you know what? Mexican food, Italian food, Chinese food. Um... This is the toughest question he's had. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna. I'm, I don't know if a lot of people are gonna be fans of me after this one, but I'm gonna go with kill Italian food, marry Chinese food, and the other one, Mexican food. Oh yeah. Oh right. yeah. You, I, you I, 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 I like, I like Italian food, but Mexican food is just too diverse, and the Chinese food is. Number one in the world to me. Oh, yeah. He said well, those fajitas. He's, uh, double up, uh, uh. Jermaine, I also wanted to say, man, honestly, thanks for uh, showing up today. I also wanted to say congratulations to you and your wife on getting married. Mazel tov. I, uh, I appreciate that. I stalked you all for a little bit, saw the, the thanks, honeymoon, so saw everything. Congratulations. I will say she is Thank way you. out of your league. Uh, so congratulations to you. <laughs> that's, that's what that's what everyone says. I'm a great looking guy. I too, mean, I, so. I I didn't say that you weren't a great looking guy. I just said she's way out of your league. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's usually how it is with. I mean, I saw so you without your you shirt. Shoot, so shoot personally, I feel like I've seen a lot more of you than a lot of other people have. And yeah. I'm just I'm I'm blessed that I can say that I talk to an NFL player. I'm gonna guess completely naked while sweating. So like I, that's a bucket list item that I can check I, I off was, my list. I was, I was wearing a towel. You, you don't hey, have to lie to me, Jermaine. All, all I gotta say is hottest interview we've done so far. Oh, dude, we've I, done I, a lot. I of, appreciate that. A lot of banging on this show. That's probably the best hottest bang we've ever done. Not I, gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a man of people. All right, bro. Seriously, in, have a safe flight. Tweet something that. out that way we know when you landed. Anytime you want to rejoin the show. You let me know. I'm going to contact you about the competitive wing eating contest because I got to take down another For Raiders sure. player, especially these big guys on the interior line, right? <laughs> so I got to take them All down. Right, let's do it. All right, bro. It'll be for charity. Let's go. Everybody right now, spam 72 in the chat for Jermaine Illuminor. Everybody say goodbye. Have a safe flight. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate it. Keep those clothes on in that flight, man. I don't need you on no flight <laughs> list. Peace out to Jermaine Illuminor. I appreciate y'all. All right, y'all, that's Jermaine Illuminor. That was the interview. Shout out to everyone on Locals. Shout out to everyone here on YouTube as well that showed him some love. And hopefully we can get him back on another show. And hopefully we can get more Raiders players here on the Raiders Report. So today has been a very special day. Not only do we have a Raiders player on, not only do we have a Raiders starting caliber player on this show, 
But we also had a Mount Raider Moore member. And the fact that David Zahn just said, this is the best show ever, that's just a whole nother benchmark there. So Jeremy Chuggs, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to knock down this boot for Sergio <coughs> Orozco, okay? And I'm just going to be 100% honest with y'all. I move tomorrow, okay? I move tomorrow. I promised Alex that I would be home by 6.30. So in order for that to happen, I got to leave today's show by 6.10, which means we have 15 minutes left of today's happy hour show. Those are the deals. So, Chugs, if you could, show the deal one more time. Raider Ron is saying it. Spam Sergio. 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 I'm so These glad are I, the deals. I'm so glad I got to ask him that uh, kill, Mary fuck question. <laughs> Jeremy was like, I don't care what we ask him. That's all I want to know. <laughs> but I told you before the interview started, he is going to be one of the most laid back people you've ever talked to. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's... He's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. Daniel Jimenez, when is the Marcus Epps interview? I have DM'd every single player oh. on the Raiders roster, and I have well, invited them. Wild one, that's my bad. I didn't even see that you sent this in. Yeah, wild one, that's on us, bro. We, we did ask him your other question, though. Correct. We did ask him your other question. I did not see that whenever he was still on. That's my bad. <sighs> wild one, I'm sorry, bro. Is he practicing against Crosby? After that comment. <laughs> After the Miles Garrett one. Oh. Um, Crosby <laughs> might not take it easy on him, though. All right. I do, though, have to send him. Oh, wait. I don't have the Aaron. I'll have to get Aaron's uh, <laughs> Twitter and send it to Jermaine. Dude, Aaron was dying laughing in the comment section whenever you read him that. Oh, really? Cool. <laughs> yes. Aaron's a, Aaron's a real one. A so. Aaron saw that live. He was he was getting a kick out of it. Aaron, cheers to you, my um, brother. The, the Marcus Epps interview, I'd love to do that at some point this uh, offseason. If we can get him on, that'd be dope. Oh, you just went for it. Okay. Uh, here are our deals one more time. Every Super Chat, we're drinking 20 for a fire beezy shot. $72 in honor of... Jermaine Illuminor coming on the show, giggity, is a beer bong. I ah, heard a little bit. Uh, $100 Hall of Fame plus a shot fun. And maybe we convince some other people out in the office to do a shot fun. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Dude, you gave not. me no warning that you were doing that. You just Ugh. went for it. I felt good. I got a second win. You, ever you, like fe you felt it. I felt I felt like I had to take advantage of it. I took off the, uh, I took advantage of the momentum. So Eric, the jersey giveaways are actually going to be happening during the draft. Correct. And it's going to be a raffle. So we actually have two things that we're going to be giving away during the draft. I kind of want to go grab one of them. We're going to be doing a jersey raffle for one, and then we have a special item for our MVPs. We showed it on yesterday's show. I want to go get get it again and show the people. Oh, go for it. Love to do a. <sighs> so I just messaged Jermaine, told him, you know, thank you. Uh, Raider Nation really appreciates it. And I, I asked him, I'll be honest with y'all. I would love to be able to do a signed jersey raffle on this show. Would love to do it. For those of you who don't know, Jermaine agreed, and I'll be honest with y'all. We talked about doing a wing eating contest. We're going to do it in uh, June. The date that Jermaine has agreed to is June 10th. So if anybody out there um, is available June 10th, Jermaine Illuminor and I are going to do a competitive wing eating contest June 10th in Las Vegas. Okay. June 10th in Las Vegas at Barcode Burger. So if you want to set aside the date, we're going to have a good Raiders turnout. It's going to be a good time. All the proceeds are going to go to charity. So it's, it's going to be like $20 to get in the door. But every single donation, everything that we get will go to charity. If a player is there, they will sign autographs for you. I know last year we had Jonathan Hankins, Andre James, 
Colton Miller, Jalen Richard was there, Kendall Vickers was there. We had multiple Raiders players there, and I, I imagine that more Raiders players will show up for Jermaine Illuminor, though he's 100% going to lose to me. But at the end of the day, man, I mean, it was it's going to be for a good cause. So save the date. June 10th is the date that we've already talked about. I just I wanted to ask him live, see what he said. Um, so, oh, wow. yeah, Raider Ron's going for it tonight. So for those that don't know, Ron, you're watching right now. Ron, what do you think? This is going to be the giveaway MVP item for day one of the NFL draft. I love the way that these things came out, man. We got not one. We got day one MVP, day two MVP, and day three. Marsh said he would do a shot fund. Marsh. How many shot funds you got in you? Marsh just said he would do eight shot funds. Awesome. So, here's what we're going to do. Every one hundo, we will do a shot fund race. A what? Shot fun race. I said it. Here's the deal. Everyone hundo is Marsh and me. Shot fun race. Until Marsh taps out. Not after the in and out comment. <laughs> I knew that that would upset you. Wildmore. I told you. In and out is not that good. I knew. I told you. I knew. You asked the real, the real ones. A guy as named soon Chugs. as I saw the in and out comment from Jermaine, I was like, that's going to upset Wild One. And most of the people watching. I'm just, I'm when keeping it real goes wrong, I guess. This is actually the first time this has ever happened. For the first time ever, Raider Ron just sent in a $100, $100 Super Chat Raider Ron Bang! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Raider Ron. Also, during the NFL draft. We will auction off another boot. This boot will be full. 100% will be full. Ron, congratulations on your first ever $100 Super Chat. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that is the most sarcastic thing I have ever said on this show. Like, actually... Oh, Jesus. Yep. That is the most sarcastic thing... I have ever said on the show. Also, we're getting close to our royal flush. And uh, we, only, we only have five minutes left, though. I know. I might have to message Alex. I, I'm sorry. We got Mount Randermore here. <laughs> this one's coming in from Trump. Did you miss anything? Yes. You missed our interview, not one, but two, with a naked Jermaine Illuminor and then Jermaine Illuminor in the airport. On top of that, Sergio Orozco is the newest member of Mount Raidermore. We are a Raiders podcast, John Borelli, and Wild 114, 100 away. From a boot. And I say that, and it makes me very nervous. It makes me nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. Very. This very one coming nervous. in from Rebel Montana. Rebel Montana. Rebel also, Montana. Rebel Montana. I do feel this. Hear me out. I don't feel like we gave Rebel a proper bang. Because Jermaine was in the airport. And Rebel, oh. real talk. Real talk, Rebel, shout out to you. Wait, like, 615 area code, do you know it? 615? Per Marianne. 
Per Marianne request, what's the I'm guessing there? you've missed this one in the past. You're 0 for 3 guessing it, by the way. I'm not going to go with Montana because I've gone with that before. But it's not. I'll give you one clue. All right. East Coast. Virginia. You know I'm, what? I'm wrong. You're All right. close. I, I already know I'm wrong. You, the way you looked at me. I'll give you one more clue. Petey. Ohio. Browns. That's what I thought. I don't know. No. Oh, Tennessee? Yes. Uh, all right, all right. 0 for 5. This one's rolling in from Rebel Montana. Bang! No, so what was funny was Rebel sent this in. Jermaine in the airport. We were going to have him yell bang, but we didn't think that was the best idea with him at the airport correct <laughs> just a guy with headphones on airport chilling there talking <gasps> bang <laughs> i mean I, we probably would have made headlines for all the wrong reasons <laughs> also jermaine he just messaged me on twitter he said make sure you tell all of your viewers thank you that was fun and i appreciate all y'all having me on he also said he's down to do a jersey raffle with him signing it here on the show so um, probably what's going to end up going down, I'll message him. We'll do the competitive wing eating contest in Las Vegas. I'll probably get the jersey from him sometime in June. I'll bring it back, do the jersey raffle. So I want to say to all y'all, you show Jermaine Illuminor how Raider Nation gets down. I'm gonna that's, show, that's a big win. I'm going to show the super chat from Wild One. That's a big win. Next time I am donating to the other show to let them slap some sense into Chugs. Hey, I'm just saying, if me, Jermaine... Other people were were on the same wavelength. Maybe I'm not saying you're in the wrong, wild one. Maybe you're not in the right. I think there's a difference between overrated and bad. There's a difference between and overrated and bad. This was the next super chat that came in from another Mount Raider more member. Oh. So we need podcast. This one's coming in from John Borelli. Mount Raider Moore is out. I'm going to tell you this right now. You might just want to. We're gonna we're gonna stay long a little bit, stay live a little bit longer. I'm gonna, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta. It's not my packages. No, I know. I'm just <laughs> Alex. If you're watching, I'm not gonna be home anytime soon. So <laughs> when Mount Raider Moore is out to play, we're gonna play. When Mount Raider Moore is out, you got to give the people what they want. Here's the issue. I got to pee. Ah, and I am scared to pee. I've been hold I saw Ron come in this chat, giggity. And uh I've been holding this pee for 30 minutes, okay? When Ron popped in the chat, I got scared. When I know Zahn's there. I know Wild One's there. I know Borelli, Trivan, Sergio. The bigger and bigger Mount Raider more grows, the more and more I get afraid to go take a piss. Okay? Here's the thing, though. I got to go. Um, we owe y'all a shot fund race. <sighs> Zahn already said it. Shot clock. We're going to do $20 Super Chats while I take a pee. Ready, set, go. All right. Ooh, honestly, though, we won't be able to get Marshall in because he's going live on Knicks right now. We'll do shot 
<laughs> oh God. A show of shit. A shit show. Bring it. The thing is, Ron, we were going to bring in the coworkers. Hey, Marsh, Seeps, would y'all take down a shot fund race really quick for us? Oh, wow. Trivan, that's five shots for Mitch right there. Trivan! Bang! Five shots for Mitchell Renz. We're going to get two people to shot fun race, two of our coworkers. Marshall Green and Patrick Seatman loading up the Happy Dads. They're graciously doing this for us. They're about to... <laughs> the deal is, Raider Ron, every 20 is a shot for Mitch until he gets back. Cheers. Shot fun race from the Knicks, boys. Go! Go, 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 go. Oh, who's going to win it? Oh, I think that was Seeps. I think it was Seeps. CP boy and Raider Ron. He doesn't even know the deal. Raider Ron. Bang! 15 shots for Mitch S. Rins whenever he gets back. 15 shots. 15 shots. He also owes a shot fund. Yeah, uh, not looking good for as Mitch as. Also, Harrison, Mitch, 10 minutes ago, I need to leave at 6.10. Mi Mitch, 10 minutes ago, yo, I need to leave at 6.10. 6.13. He said, it's not happening. And I don't know if you pissed off Mount Raider more or what you did. They said no subbing. What does that mean? They said it all has to be your shots. Who? I don't see that. David's on right above Wild One. Okay. No subbing the shots. Holy tits. So I'm going to let you know what you got. All right. What do we got? We've got... So we got a we got a shot fun race. I got right. one more in me. All right, he's got one more. Is this already is this already ready? Do I have to wait or do I go now? Ron, you can just you said, can go Zon, now. brother, got your back. David Zahn, get this kid plastered. Let's go, <laughs> dude. David Zahn, he apps. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'll tell you. Oh, this. I'll tell you this right now. Um, the cool part about our office is when I'm taking a piss, I can hear Jeremy <laughs> scream bang. And you ever have that feeling in your gut where you're like, something bad just happened? I was like, man, I just, I'm getting effed over right now. So this, this was the first one. That's the first one. Can't I, miss deal. That's I five. heard you scream Trivan. So I was five, like, five shots. Oh, sorry. <sighs> five shots from Trivan. Okay. And then Raider Ron... He didn't actually hear what I had to say. He just threw this in and said, what's the deal? Oh, my God. So that's 15 shots. All right. Can you go get me my Raiders shot glass? Yes. Real quick. Just real quick. Um, I, I almost wonder if you just do it out of the boot at this point. I, I'm literally going to pour 15 shots of fireball in that boot, and I'm going to knock it down. You, I mean, this is nuts. Just so y'all know, we are auctioning off this boot during the draft. We got to we got to auction off this boot during the draft. My question is and this is like an honest like a genuine honest question. I want to make so like we have Mount Raider more, right? I want to know who are the people that have boots? Because we have sent out a lot of boots. However, 
There's probably 10. Bro, I'm not smelling that cast. I'm not smelling that cast. You might as well let me smell your underwear. I remember the time I broke my hand. I remember the time... How Bro, much, I'm not how, sm I'm not smelling that cast. Smell cast. I'm not smelling that how cast. Much? I'm not smelling it. For for a hundred dollar super chat, you're not smelling. My I'm cast. not smelling your cast, dude. So there's a few things that gross me out in this world. When I like hurt my knee, and I had to wear a knee brace for you're, all day. There's not a single number that you would do to smell this cast. Bro, I'm not smelling that cast. Not not even for a thousand dollars, you wouldn't smell it. I mean, that's a ridiculous number. For for two hundred. You're not smelling it. All right, I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal right now. If somebody sends in a $300 super chat, I'll smell your cast if you drink a beer out of my shoe. Yeah. Exactly. Get out of here. That, that's not even even. One to smell, one drinking out of a, food, just, out of a shoe. I just, to me, that's though... Bro, you, you have to it's, eat a piece of broccoli, it's, and I get to kick you in the nuts. The, I just, see, so you didn't let me finish my story. When I tore my ACL, I wore a cast, and I wore the knee brace. It smelled so bad to me. And, like, it, the way that I'm going to remind it to people, you ever get drunk off something, and you can't drink it anymore? Like, that smell to me, it's like a trigger. It's like the sweat, it's the... I haven't cleaned this in a it's just it's a gross smell to me and it's it's different. Like I don't know. So full like full disclosure, um when I tore my ACL when I was in high school, I wore obviously a knee brace for a very long time and uh showering was not an ability for me for like a week and a half. And I remember when I took that thing off how bad it smelled. And I remember at the time I wasn't able to eat a lot of food. I got sick. So I have smelt things that remind me of that. And it, it does. It's not a good thing. There's a lot of eyeballs in the chat. Why am I doing that? <sighs> That's a disaster. Wild one, you're right, Mitch. We were waiting. Venom, please. And then he said, I got a boot now. Check your Venmo and drink. Well, if anyone cares, um, Alex and I today were allowed to move into our new apartment at 6. And uh, the guy who, like, runs the building says, just sent your keyless access to the building. Check your email. So, um... Eric, if you're watching, I'm going to be a little late. <laughs> you know why? Because this one's coming in from... Wild One! 14! Bang! Everybody say I... I'm sorry, Eric. Eric's going to be pissed at me. I'll tell you that. Um, he's going to be one pissed off dude. But you know what, Eric? If it wasn't for Raider Nation, there would be no apartment that I could live in. I know that. PG. Alex. Alex is probably up there with Danny. And the idea of, we work a lot. Jeremy and I, we work a lot. You guys know. I mean, we work a lot. However, however, it's, it's the balancing act, and you can probably speak on this, where it's like, Raider Nation is how we pay our bills and the idea of, like, that's our job, right? Like, our job is to entertain, inform, have a good time with Raider Nation. So when Raider Nation once gets down, it's like, like, that's the balancing act, Right? God honest truth. And it's a weird thing to explain to some people who don't understand what we do. But that's the job. That's what we signed up for. So Alex understands. 
She does. Go New York, go New York, go! Go New York, go New York, go! I'll tell you this right now. I'm actually a New York Knicks fan, which probably doesn't surprise some of y'all because I'm from the Northeast. I'm going to make you a deal right now. Go New York, go New York, go! When do you go live? When do you go live? 6.30. You go live at 6.30? Bro. Okay. Can we Here's infiltrate? my deal. Can we infiltrate? Here's my deal right now. I'm already I'm, pretty sauced from those two shots. I'm a New York Knicks <laughs> fan. Oh, are you okay? I hit your wrist? I'm a no, New York Knicks fan. Part. I am rooting for the Knicks to take down the Cavs. Wow, PG says FNY. That's fucked. Hey, who wants to get Marshall effed up today? I'm already there. That's my deal. My <laughs> deal is let's get Marsh effed up. I, however, I though, let's get in. Marsh F. However, up. though, however, once Marsh starts his live stream on Nix, I'm going to put the link in this chat right now, okay? Every single $100 super chat that comes over on that Nix channel, I will personally do a beer bong on the Raiders report. Wow. And I know how Marsh gets down. He will That's also. Good. Do one on Knicks. That's going to be a two for one. I'm a Knicks guy. I know it's weird. I like the Raiders, but I'm an East Coast. I'm a Knicks fan. I'm down to get down. Hey, Donovan Mitchell. Don't you wish you played for the Knicks? I'm down to get down. That's the deal. Dude, huge game. Game three. This is a rubber match if game. If you send in a hundo oh over on Knicks, win, Marsh winner, is doing one gets, and I'm doing one. Winner gets the advantage in the series. But more importantly, that means I get to stay live longer. If you wanna if you wanna leave, you can leave probably in like twenty minutes or so. I'll just go do beer bongs over on Knicks. Like I don't give a <laughs> I seriously I don't care. I'm here. I'm ready. I'm good. I feel <laughs> good about where I'm at. Didn't you have to leave like I was supposed to leave ago? Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna But now you're just gonna beer ball on Nick's all night. The good news is this I get to pack less. However, so this is the deal that Alex and I made. Uh huh. When Raider Nation wants to get down, and you guys like would you make this deal? I said, I'll pay for the movers for most of our stuff in our new apartment if you handled all the logistics, and you packed. That's a, well. That is a solid deal. Is she packing everything? So I packed my like, stuff. So I would say my stuff in our apartment is like twenty percent of the stuff. Honestly, she's, so she's packing hers and the shared stuff. Correct. Like she she packed the bathroom, dude. I'm the kitchen. You, the work. The kitchen's the worst. She packed. The, kitchen the kitchen's good. already packed. Done deal. Oh, then that's not too bad. The ki- the kitchen worst part of the move because you don't realize. Oh, it's glass a lot. cups, any kind of breakable plates. It's a lot. All your silverware. It's all dude, the utensils. Alex deserves. I mean, she has been probably for this entire week. She's probably put in a good ten hours of packing. And then how how, how much did she help with the move? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> From Sunday to today, I can't even. I was gonna make a joke similar to that, but that's probably better. She's been she's been uh, packing her ass off. <laughs> Seriously, um, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> she's gonna kill me when I get home. But that was the deal oh that I made. Oh my god! So, yeah, yeah, we're um, good. We're it, good. It, we're having you a just good wanna- time. Put this if in, you could in the box for me, I would so legit give are you those, the biggest kiss in the world. Are those are those this. cuts on the channel? No, I'm gonna have to do that once it ends. Okay. I'll probably have to do it. Here's the here's the real problem. I'm not gonna have the time to put the cuts up on the channel tomorrow. Or today. <sighs> So my question to you is this: Could you? I know. Could you put the cuts up on the channel tonight? You know you should, you know you should ask for this. What? How about this? All right, guys, this is what we're gonna do. All right, because logistically speaking, from a company standpoint, I need this to happen. You guys are gonna have five more minutes here on the Raiders report, but. 
But I'm going to go over to the Knicks channel, and I'm going to continue to drink over on Knicks. Jeremy has to go home for Danny, okay? I got I to gotta be able to respect Chugs. I also got to be able to respect Jack because Jack, for those who don't know, hop on here real quick. Jack was the one behind the scenes working with yeah. Jermaine. Actually, Jack is the one who's – oh, your jersey's green. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's green, so it's kind of see-through right now. Oh, I was hoping for a nipple. So Jack is the one who set up everything on the for back Jermaine. end for Jermaine. So the way that we, we do this show is based on a lot of people working hard behind the scenes. So this is what's going to happen. I know. Somebody said 15 shots. Um, I'm going to do 15 shots. I'm 24. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to knock down this beer bong. That's hot. I'm then going to pour 15 shots of fireball somehow. I'm going to go to the bathroom. You guys, if you're real, you know. Um, and then I'm going to head over to the Knicks. Okay, I'm going to put the link for you guys in this chat. I'm going to continue to drink uh, over on Knicks until I literally black out. I got okay? you. Hold on one second. Um, and that gives Jeremy the ability to be able to go home. It also gives Jack the ability to be able to go home. Guys, this is a jersey. It's not a hoodie. Oh, wow. I got one hoodie. Marshall heard, Marshall heard us. Okay. And he sent me the, the, link? the link. All right, so this is what's going to happen. I'm going to knock down this beer bong right now. Okay? I... I this is the link. I'm going to do me. some I'm going to do the 15 shots. Hear me out. Hear me out. I okay. will do the 15 shots over on Knicks. We're going to get that party started over there and then we're going to continue the beer drinking and all the craziness over there. But Chugs has got to go home. Jack's got to go home. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do well, is this. Well, I not not only do we have to go home, I got to put all the Raiders stuff on the channel for everybody who didn't watch live. So you got to put the stuff on the channel. If you could schedule it, I, I, push I, it I, out. You I, guys handle the pushing out process, all that. I, I can I can schedule you, the post is done. Post all done. Okay, I can I can schedule do that. Jack's just gonna help me clean up the studio and all this shit. Video's got to go out tonight though. The Illuminor or no the room the. Whatever I have on there. I Whatever's know. on the board is what I'm going to do. Cool. Yeah, okay. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is what we're going to do. I'm yep. going to do the spear bong right now. This show is going to end. I'm going to go over to the Knicks. Okay. I'm going to go over to the Knicks channel. The link's in the chat. The link is in the chat. You want to continue to party? You want to continue this thing going? I'm a Knicks fan. I want the Knicks to win tonight. We're going to continue to that bad boy over on the Knicks channel. Sound good? Once I finish this, this live stream is going to end. You want to continue to party with me, you go to that channel right now. So their, their stream starts at 6.30. It's in two minutes. So you know what? Drink before you go, Zon. Zon, come on. Zon, come on. What are we doing? Ah. Uh. Oh, Zon. The deal is this. Every one hundo we get on Knicks is a me and Marsh beer bong. I'm telling you this right now. And this is this is like full disclosure chat sports. The pricing on Raiders Report is a lot higher than it is on any other channel at Chat Sports. And the only reason is. Because you got crazy mother efforts like Raider Ron. You got crazy mother efforts like David Zahn, John Borelli, Sergio Roscoe, where when I first started this show, when I first started this show, I set lower prices and then I just, I, I literally would black out while I was on the show. So I had, had to set higher pricing. So as soon as it turned 630, which it's 630 right now, I'm getting ready right now to hop over to Knicks. I'm keeping on the Raiders jersey. We're going to go over to Knicks. We're going to continue to drink. I got 15 shots to do over on Knicks. So, if you guys are down to get down, let's continue this party going. Chugs has got to take Danny out for dinner. I think we can all understand that. Like, no, I mean, like, honestly, like, real talk. If Alex said, you got to take me out to dinner tonight, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take Alex out for dinner. So this is for Chugs. Chugs gotta go. 
Jack's got to go. I'm going to hop over to Nick's right now. You guys ready? Zod said he's switching. Robert says they totally ignored the Royal Flush. Here's the thing. Raiders podcast didn't send in a 100. That's not a Royal Flush. Royal Flush is every single member of Mount Raider Moore sending in a 100. So the more Mount Raider Moore grows, the more the Mount the Royal Flush grows. Ready? I'm heading over to Nixon. Three, two. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm heading over to Nixon right now. Let's go.